blocks. Just take 111 West 57th Street. It has 60 units across 85 stories. Now compare that to the Trump World Tower built 20 years earlier, and you'll see that has 376 units. Uh, Myth is here. We are, Myth, we're currently watching Billionaire's Row. And why it's, dude, you smell great. Wait, is that Hermes? Yeah. I think I have the same cologne that you do. No. Do you know what it is? I forgot the name of it. I can send you it though later. Bro. Are you drinking a white Monster? What up, Marat? Marat is, is dude, you look like, you, that's perfect for you. White monster? The white monster is perfect for you. So we need, we need some upgraded ground. chairs in this bitch. Okay, I know. We're gonna upgrade the chairs. Herman Miller, send me some fucking chairs, please. What the fuck? This motherfucker. Ron, come say hello. <laughs> hello. No, you don't have to be that close to the. <laughs> you need a couch? The couch is not conducive to like conversation though, because I'm sitting here. How the fuck would I put a couch here? Then it would be weird. The couch has arms. You guys don't know what you're talking about. Mm. What about a love chair? Yeah. A love chair? Love seat. Why would it? Okay, Marat, get out of here. Is it? Just sign. Baba, I'm going to tell you something else. Come on. Because the noise gate is off. Okay, so, yeah, this is Billionaire's Row. They build here. The, the short and sweet of it so far is that they have like these gross fucking massive exorbitant uh, towers that are somewhat unlivable mm -hmm. and also have uh they don't even make good use of space but it's like a statement piece most of these billionaires just buy it as an investment vehicle and they don't even fucking live in it and they're talking about that yeah over 90 stories what the fuck to make the construction of a super dumb. slender tower worth it you have to make those units really 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 expensive what and that's where real estate is like Ryan Serhant yeah. come in. It's I called like Ryan at the offices of like, Serhant, yeah. his luxury real estate firm based here in Manhattan. Really. Take me to the world of Billionaire's Row. What's it like and how is it different to other luxury real estate elsewhere in Manhattan? 57th Street, Billionaire's Row, is a pretty global demographic. So there's a lot of pied-à-terre, so part-time owners. There's a lot of investor owners. You know, we're selling the penthouse right now, 432 Park, for $169 million US. The owner's never been there. And it's an investment, you know, it's an asset. It's like owning, you know, a Picasso. New York City had status symbol projects prior Whoa. to Billionaire's Row, but never like it does now. Before you'd say, hey, where do you live? Like 41 East 66th legal. Street, you'd say. If you own a property, somebody should have to live in it. There's somebody should be, so, so, there has to be someone in it. No, no, keep spitting, keep spitting. What? Go that's ahead. All, that's all, wait. Go ahead, dude. No, no, keep <laughs> what spitting. What is that? It just it doesn't make any sense for me to, for there to be at a hundred sixty nine million dollar estate when like you know you got you got a, 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 a maybe like a mother of four a family of four living in downtown Detroit going to public Detroit school education where the parents are protesting twenty four seven or the teachers are protesting twenty four seven that they don't get fucking paid or damn put a teacher in that bitch you know but that is literally it, it's just doing nothing. It would devalue, it would that was awesome. Devalue it. Well, yeah, no, Murat is right. Uh, the entire American economy is built around the concept of owning private property. Private property is different than personal property. Mm -hmm. Personal property would be a house like this, for example. But a private yeah. property would be a house that you buy as an investment vehicle. And Americans love utilizing their houses as an investment vehicle. And the government needs to, in every step, of, in every way, shape, or form, protect that. Uh, investment vehicle for them, which is precisely why they rarely ever engage in uh, things that would depreciate the, or uh, decrease the value of houses that people live in, mm -hmm. uh, like, uh, you know, Section 8 housing or public housing, social housing, yeah. uh, things like that. These measures that are absolute necessity for people, considering that they are motherfuckers living in the street, you know what I mean? Yeah. Which is insane. We're the richest country on the planet, and we got homies living on the fucking street, dying on the streets. Um, so that is that is uh the, absolutely this is just a, like a larger version of that you're you're getting a snapshot of how fucking terrible it is uh by looking at the worst and some of these buildings are just built as like look look how big my building is and how many of 
millions of dollar apartments it has. Look how big it is. We've commoditized living space and we need to exclude people from those spaces to extract surplus value from everyone else. It's disgusting and gross. Was that accurate? Yes, that is. Well, that's Marxist. What you that part, what that Marxist is saying is. No, no, not what he was saying, but like the, oh, look at my building. It's so large. Yeah, I mean, that's just one other element of that for sure. Look. But most normal human beings that like practice even a fraction of empathy recognize what uh, Ali is saying here is not all that different from you know what I heard. What'd you hear? The Empire State Building was the dude that like owned the Empire State Building was in competition with somebody that owned another building in New York. And so when I, I chat, maybe some of you guys can help me here. But when somebody they is one of the somebody outbuilt the Empire State Building. And so the Empire State Building was like, you know what? We're going to just add more. We're going to do an extension. Like, I want my building to be bigger. So the Chrysler Building? Is that true? And it cost it, it was like a, a multi-million dollar project or some shit. Ju just for the sake of like, damn, dude, I this, this build, our building needs to be bigger. Didn't, didn't you hear that uh, when after 9-11, Trump Tower was the tallest building in New York, dude? Yeah, Donald Trump <laughs> famously... <laughs> Donald Trump famously uh, on a phone call, I think to a, like a radio station or something, was like, you know, 9-11, very bad, very tragic, but right. also made my tower, the Trump Tower, the he largest on a radio tower station? in Wall Street, believe me, yeah. <laughs> the biggest tower, the tallest tower. I mean, here, I mean, here, here, here. I have such a tall tower. You know, they're the tallest now. 9-11 um, is shame, but... 20 years after 9-11, we can still hear Donald Trump's reaction to terrorist attacks. Yeah. What a shame. Wait, where the fuck is the video? <laughs> Chad, do you have the video? I can't. It's not showing for some reason here. Yeah, he called into a TV station, WWOR. Oh. And, and, you know, he, he basically said, 40 Wall Street actually was the second tallest building in downtown Manhattan and it's actually it was before the World Trade Center was the tallest and then when they built the World Trade Center it became known as the second tallest pauses and now it's the tallest the real shame is chat can't see feelings True. Here, 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 here. Being a Donald, uh, you have one of the landmark buildings down in the financial district, 40 Wall Street. Uh, did you have any damage or did you know what, what's happened down there? Well, it was an amazing phone call I made. 40 Wall Street actually was the second tallest building in downtown Manhattan. And, and it was actually before the World Trade Center was the tallest. And then when they built the World Trade Center, it became known as the second tallest. And now it's the tallest. And I just spoke to my Donald. Uh, I hope the afterlife exists. By, by the way, really uh, Türkler de diyorlar. Arkadan Island do de her şeyi duyuyorlar. Haberiniz olsun yani yok çünkü şu anda noise gate. There's no noise gate. So if mom and dad are going to like uh, converse, I'm just letting you know they can hear everything. Can you go tell them? Please. Bir de kapıyı da kapatır mısın bir de bunu at. Gel ama istiyorsan yani. I said this on my streamer day. I hope the afterlife exists. Inshallah. Oh, so that Donald Trump can rot in hell? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> so that a lot of people could rot in hell. Yeah, like I, I am really hoping. I like, I'm not a firm believer, but like, I hope it exists. No kizzy. No kizzy. Like, you want to be on this earth and be like, yeah, I just don't really give a fuck about other people or like, you know, anything in general, and I'm just gonna live my life out to the fullest. Ooh, yeah, I'm a rock star. Yeah, like. Uh, inshallah, no kizzy. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's crazy though. That is some like just straight up. <laughs> that was our president. Woo! Let's keep going. Cool. Where's that? Now you can say, where do you live? 432? Ah, it's a brand, right? It's like a Birkin bag. Where do you live? 157? Where do you live? 111? Where do you live? 220? You don't even- Serenoid, thank you for the five get the subs. By the way, that's a good reminder that five people will no longer see the top of the hour ad break right now because of Serenoid, but it's coming. I totally forgot because uh, Myth walked in, but at the top of the hour, we have a 60 second ad break. If you want an uninterrupted broadcasting experience, though, you can subscribe or be lucky to be one of the lucky people that Serenoid gifted a sub to, or make your own luck, or make your own luck for free with a Twitch Prime that is free. Have you been playing Tarkov? No. You never played Tarkov? Or... I played Tarkov before, like, once or twice, but... 
I haven't played it. I, haven't been playing it. I, I, I was fucking bopping. I was bopping heads last night. Yeah. Headshots only, baby. Will's been wanting to play. Yeah. Um, we can play that before, uh, maybe before, uh, what do you call it? Peggy shows up because he's not a, he's a, he's a controller gamer, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe. Get down for a little dark. It's like fucking annoying though, because like everyone, you were memeing about like the gaming thing, like oh he like lured me in with gaming, and <laughs> now so many dummies in the chat are like, come on, gaming when, gaming when? It's like yeah, we're gonna fucking play <laughs> video games today. Don't worry, okay? Chat, Can you chill I was out? Trolling. Can you chill out? <laughs> okay, let's keep going. You don't have to say where it is. You just say the number. Just behind me over there are the massive cast iron testicles of the Wall Street Bull. Now, they represent money, and of course <laughs> none of this would be possible without money. Loads and loads and loads of money. So much money, in fact, that it's actually helping transform housing from its most basic function of providing shelter into a lucrative investment strategy. Now, to be clear, home ownership's always of been one of the best ways to build Probably. wealth, and Why not? that opportunity hasn't been made equal to everyone. But Billionaire's Row takes things to a whole new level, and has essentially created an entirely new asset class of luxury real estate. That's partly because there's simply a lot more money to go around. The amount of money being invested around the world has grown massively, creating what some researchers call a giant pool of cash. But alongside this explosion of global wealth, wealth inequality has grown too. A smaller slice of people now control a bigger share of the world's money, and that means the people at the top have bigger and bigger bank accounts. One place to put some of that money? Well, luxury real estate, like the units on Billionaire's Row. And this um, is historically unprecedented. The amount of very wealthy people with that money coming into the built environment, it mutates the built environment, it mutates architecture. Matthew Souls has thought That's a crazy. lot about this. In fact, he wrote a whole book on how wealth is reshaping our buildings. Architecture is under a tremendous amount of pressure to satisfy the investment kind of absorption role. And that's where something like Billionaire's Row comes into being. To really understand... How do you get rid of places like this? I mean, the kind, gentle, and maybe uh, the... the the. <sighs> the utopian, <laughs> the utopian uh, argument is by taxing people slowly but surely, raising taxes and, and making it so unaffordable to like commodify housing which should be seen as like a necessary resource for survival because shelter is necessary for survival uh it's so that like people can't utilize this as an investment vehicle um and then the more realistic uh argument is that uh building a solid base of labor momentum and and radicalizing the working class once again with class consciousness to a degree where uh if necessary uh, you know, we reorganize our economy in a way that uh, doesn't create such incredible wealth hoarding and such, uh, create such uh, uh, disparate outcomes by design like capitalism does. And the way to do that is, unfortunately, the reality is through labor militancy, because we have examples, numerous historical examples, time and time again, where uh, uh, the people in positions of power, whether they were monarchs or capital owners themselves throughout the time have refused to give up that power that they currently have without any sort of, uh, you know, threat of violence or violence in general. Like, that's just how it is. And why our buildings are changing shape, it's helpful to get to grips with a financial concept called liquidity. Stick with us and Billionaire's Row will start to make a lot more sense. So all assets have varying degrees of liquidity. You can think of everything that is an asset as existing somewhere on a liquidity spectrum. And at one end of the spectrum is the most liquid asset of all. That is cash. One US dollar bill is exactly the same as every other one US dollar bill. You can hand it off. You know, in some way you remind me of Vladimir Lenin. You see, Lenin literally became a Volsel. He took a vow not to drink or have sex in order to stay focused on the revolution. You are similar to Lenin in this way, in that you get no bitches. <laughs> uh, 
That's awesome. That's fucking funny. All right, Super sorry. Easy. I just I had to the read that. That was a good chat. The end of the liquidity spectrum is real estate, a piece of architecture, often represented as a single family home with a pitched roof. Along that spectrum, you have things like artwork and stocks in companies like Tesla or Google. So my argument is that the logics and practices of finance capitalism is to transform buildings in such a way that they move down the liquidity spectrum to become more like a stock, more like cash. Enter, billionaires row. 111 West 57th is an incredible- These are the NFTs of housing is what they're basically saying. Yeah, so like how do, what type, and how do they like- Almost do, turning- do, do they buy and sell these houses differently than other than regular places? I mean, in, like, in the sense that, like, they are treated as, like, uh, basically a, 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 an asset that... Do you know how... Like, it's an asset more than it is a shelter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but he was saying, like, he was talking about the liquidity of the two assets. And them wanting to make buildings and homes and shit, like, that asset be more liquid, like a stock, like a share. Do you, do you know how, like, rich people own, uh, buy, and park their, like works of art in, in uh, airports? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so like, if you look at the Spectrum example, mm -hmm. you, would you can go come closer, bro. Good, dude. Come on, dude, um, what? come you on. Would go, you would go from like artwork, Yeah. which is, uh, sorry, you would go NFT artwork building, right? All same concept, just different uh, yeah. efforts of, ex of transaction. Yeah, yeah that's, what, that's what makes it more or less liquid, right? Yeah. Gotcha. Like, obviously, it's still sold. It's still bought and sold in a similar capacity. It's still real estate, yeah. but it has its, like, unique market considering uh, yeah, yeah. The, the barrier of entry into that market itself. And more importantly, I think the argument there is that this is, uh, this is seen as more of an asset, a speculative vehicle, mm -hmm. uh, and a way to park your cash into something yeah. rather than shelter. It's built first as a, predominantly an asset for the mega wealthy. Mm -hmm. But don't forget that make, uh, okay. So that also makes sense in terms of like the way that they want to like trade and sell it is it's just like a vehicle where they don't have to worry about like the time it's going to take for somebody to move in and out because one, no one's living in them. So they just fucking are trading these buildings and, and whatnot and buying them up as like little little money little money pits and don't forget they're, they're it's insured like there's not it, there, there's no losing here right unless yeah. the entire economy goes in which case you're already screwed yeah but like even if the building burns down it doesn't matter yeah right. incredibly tall ready, building Let's but it has a very small, small number of units in it now, all the year. units are either one entire floor or a unit that spans two floors. Gone is the hallway. You know, you're not gonna smell the neighbors cooking. Maybe it's a pleasant smell, maybe it's not, but that's what social life, social life in the city is all about. Gone are all the possibilities for that. Now, not being able to smell your neighbor's dinner sounds kind of nice, but Matthew says it goes back to this concept of housing sliding closer and closer to something like cash on that liquidity scale. What does this all mean? This means that you could own a unit in a building like 432 Park and almost never visit it, or maybe never go there, and you can be reasonably assured that it's gonna be secure and not problematized by some unpredictable public usage. With fewer units in the building, you can start to control more of those variables that typically make a house a non-liquid asset. There's no hallway because the elevator opens directly to the apartment. There's no backyard you've got to maintain, no street level windows to protect from vandals on the ground, no leaky roof that you've got to fix. And you can see this across building types, not only the towers com uh, in communism. Billionaires uh, Row, capitalism going but condominium far. units in Miami, in Vancouver, in Melbourne. But it What's up? Remember when I talked about capitalism going too far? Uh-huh. I feel like this is, this is what I meant. I mean, it's, it goes, it's I mean, like so yeah, the thing yeah, is, like it's literally, let's build this building for the sake of putting our money in it. Cause we know it'll go up in value over time. It's just min maxing for billionaires. Yeah. 
No, that's and that's precisely what it is. But that's all it is. But the system is designed to get to this point, especially because yeah, yeah, the governments are all all governments formed under a, a capitalist organization of the economy slowly but surely without like genuine political mobilization and a genuine anti-capitalist action yeah. occurring are always inevitably going to reach this state yeah so much so that even some of the anti-capitalist actions the government takes in the form of like uh, a more progressive tax uh, system for example rather than a regressive one as in like you get taxed more the richer you get mm -hmm. right um even that sort of stuff funds what is known as the welfare state, right? Welfare and welfare state. programs and, okay. and things like that, which end up uh, end up creating uh, or breathing life back into the capitalist system's uh, continuation. Because inevitably, the, the, the conflict between the two classes mm -hmm. come to this point, if unchecked, under a capitalist organization of the economy. Yeah. Right. Like it's always going to get to this point because the system is designed to get to this point. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So. Um, so sometimes you reel it back in in an effort to, like, give people a little bit just breadcrumbs so they shut the fuck up. That's why really rich libertarians call welfare the riot tax. Ah. Do you get why they call it the riot tax? So that it don't. It so the poor. So, they don't yeah, riot. so the poor don't fucking riot. There you go. Yeah. A little snacky um and basically that thanks for that working all your life some <laughs> like marxists believe that this is what the system is designed to do what and it move. is <laughs> it is designed to do this do they pay property tax at least would benefit the local schools so the beautiful part about what you just described is that property taxes itself and the way that the taxes are distributed in most places in america also create a two-tiered uh, class uh, classes system where public schools in wealthy neighborhoods end up being well-funded, yeah. having like access to uh, greater forms of education, having iPads for every fucking child, whatever. Yeah. Versus poorer schools in poor uh, or, or poorer neighborhoods that don't have that much property tax to offer to the school district that has a fuckload more yeah. uh, children to educate end up getting underfunded consistently. It's not like they're fucking erecting this <clears throat> building in, in, in uh, on Eight Mile, so that you know DPS gets the money for the for the fucking uh, property tax. And certainly, I'm sure, considering the buyers of such properties, mm -hmm. considering like who buys properties like this, I'm almost fucking certain. I haven't seen this video yet. I have no idea what the uh, and I don't know the background of this, but I'm almost certain that there is probably one way shape or form that these motherfuckers end up actually using this as a way to like lower their taxes as well a lot of a lot of real estate developers including donald trump do shit like this because they add this into the depreciation like the value is like depreciating or uh there is you know 100 percent of the building is actually something that you're uh, uh something that you're you're you can use to cut some of your taxes and if you have a hundred million dollar property that's a hundred million dollars in taxes, depending on what you, what kind of depreciation you can justify. Uh, that's a lot of fucking taxes that you can avoid paying. Depreciation? What the fuck's depreciating? Isn't doesn't the U.S. I mean, I'm not. A what do you mean the walls are getting older? Oh my god. Pay. Yeah. Doesn't the U. I mean, oh I don't my know god. Fact, but I thought the U.S. tax code We're fucked. Uh, lets you write off the depreciation of any building in like twenty years or something. You would know 2.7 million, right? Lil, yeah, you got me. It's pronounced in something like the billionaire row, ultra thin towers. Even with the money and the engineering to make buildings like this possible, you can't just put a super slender skyscraper up wherever you like. Developers need permission to get their projects off the ground and there are restrictions. This order them? What did you say? I had asked uh, what the U.S. tax code, or what the duration of uh, depreciation on a building is, and I think I don't know. Said it was 25 years. How tall they're allowed to build, but here in New York, there are a lot of different loopholes they can use to go beyond the limits. To try and get my head around all this, I went to go and see Sam Stein. 
He's a senior policy analyst at the Community Service Society of New York. I want to ask about incentive zoning. For anyone who hasn't heard of that, mm -hmm. what, what is, how would you describe it to somebody on the street? First of all, zoning is the rules about what can be built where, at what height, and what width, and with how much space in between, etc. Incentive zoning says the developer can violate those rules to a certain degree if they do something else that is to the public's benefit. Just to the west of Billionaire's Row, New York City used zoning incentives with the Hudson Yards development to upgrade the subway, create new public parks, and expand the so nearby centre. Is that in New York? On Billionaire's yeah. Row, 157 got a tax break from building some affordable housing in the Bronx, but we'll get more into that later. Remember how developers bought up a bunch of air rights to be able to build even taller? Well, the way those rights are obtained typically means the developments are able to move forward without going through the usual public or environmental review process. The Municipal Art Society of New York put together a report called The Accidental Skyline, which looks at how the current New York City zoning regulations have enabled the rise of super tall skyscrapers across the city. This graphic shows the hotspots of unused development rights in 2014 and where new developments popped up a few years later. Billionaire's Row sits right in the middle of one of these hotspots here in Midtown Manhattan. 432 Park Avenue was able to rise so high in part because of another loophole in the city's zoning laws. Any floors used for mechanical or structural equipment don't count towards the total height of the building. And at 432 Park, roughly a quarter of its floors are reserved for equipment, not apartments. <laughs> now, there are legitimate reasons to have so much space reserved for mechanics. For one, the open-air mechanical floors allow wind to flow through the building in order to reduce any sway. And of course, you need space to store the heating, air conditioning and elevator motors. But there's an ongoing debate about whether developers are exploiting the rule in order to build further into the sky. Is this great architecture or capitalist ambition? Can those be the same thing? Is that the very essence of New York? For all the effort, money and planning that's going into these buildings, it struck me just how many of the units seem empty. But once I started to look into it, it actually made a lot more sense. And it turns out there's a couple of different reasons for it. They're either unsold or simply unoccupied. In fact, there are quite a few Billionaire's Row properties still on the market. An analysis by Sirhan found that nearly half the units in seven of the buildings were unsold in August. That's $6.7 billion worth of condos still on the market without a buyer. Sheesh. That might be because what was initially unique about 157, the Central Park views, floor-to-ceiling windows, and units sprawling an entire floor, was quickly replicated by the other super tools that popped uh -oh. up. Now, if you're in the market for an ultra-luxury apartment in Manhattan, you have a lot more options. They got competition. Well, there's a lot being built. Gloss of 157 sort of it depreciates every year that new projects come through and there's another, you know, it building to live in. For years, the luxury real estate market in New York City had more supply than demand. But that's starting to change. By September 2021, Manhattan hit record high sales of luxury properties. Oh my god. But what kind of intrigues me more is the empty units. They've been built, they've been sold. Uh, also, New York City, or at least like the job of the New York City mayor since the 90s, has functionally been to purge, expel, no matter what the fucking cost is uh, in, in terms of like human life or anything like that, mm -hmm. black and brown people or poor people in general from as many areas as possible to make way for such extravagant developments and to push them to the fucking boroughs uh, so that the island of Manhattan is basically this space for the ultra wealthy. Well, that seems fucked. That's, that's literally what you do. Like, that's your job is to just, uh, if you are the fucking, if you are the mayor of New York, your job is to command one of the largest militaries, uh, standing armies in the world in the form of the New York Police Department, mm -hmm. or rather uh, have a constant back and forth where they bully you into submission uh, and threaten you, like the New York Police Department did to uh, the bungalow regularly. Wait, so like, they cut themselves now? And they've cut everyone else. 
because now they they're, they're they're erecting these big ass buildings that people aren't buying because newer cooler well, they didn't cuck buildings. themselves because the whole point was always for developers to make more money and the wealthy to have an asset that they can park their cash in so that is built by that is the design of it, it they mm -hmm. cuck themselves in the form of like creating unaffordable Honestly, housing but yeah they cut my bad but i guess more so they cut the fucking people in like the city yes they have two different com they're because two they're just, competing interests always you, you are these, you have these big ass buildings that do nothing yeah you are you're you're again nailing the fucking heart of the problem which is putting profits over people okay yeah so they're actually technically not cucking themselves in the form of profit if the profit motive is all you care about mm -hmm. then yes they're doing a great job if you care about the human beings though then if you care about the people then yes they are destroying the people i feel like but that nobody lives there at least not all the time they're <laughs> second third fourth homes or simply just a place <laughs> to store wealth now the idea of a secondary residence That's isn't true. new the french term pied à terre meaning foot to ground was coined in the 19th century to describe a temporary second i don't know if he's gonna mention this but i i gotta tell you one of the most disgusting parts of this process mm. so new york city i forget exactly when they came up with this solution but my mom talks about this all the time in her classes and both to us she will probably bring this up and numerous other things about architecture later when uh we're having dinner mm -hmm. Uh, it's kind of her thing. Uh, but what New York City ended up doing in an effort to combat the growing class inequality inside of Manhattan was basically state that every one of these buildings supposed to have, uh, is supposed to have housing that is affordable. Now, that yeah. system is already like incredibly limited, not enough uh, space for affordable housing. Uh, I don't know if he'll mention that in the video or not, but... Mm -hmm. Uh, not only that, but also uh, it, there's a lottery system there, okay? So it's really difficult to get into one of those houses regardless. It's called the playing Squid Games? And Little wait, problems. hold up, wait for this. <laughs> That's what's up. They have <laughs> separate entrances for the poors and separate elevators for the poors. The separate elevators, I can see the logic there, but separate entrances is screwed up. Yeah. They have poor doors. Poor doors. Yeah. Residence. Today, that's come to represent second homes, usually apartments, in cities away from the owner's primary residence. Every few years, the city of New York does this big housing and vacancy survey. In 2017, they found there were 75,000 Pierre properties across the city. That's up from 55,000 in 2014. So 75,000 units Co are vacant. Where most billionaires like are. for the most part, seventy-five thousand units in New York City are vacant for most of the part, and it's just like a summer home or a secondary apartment that the that the owner rarely ever visits. Wait, va vacant? Vacancy is roughly uh, half the single family unoccupied. homes in unoccupied. Is unoccupied or not? Owned? Everything's up. Look at that. He's saying it. Look, look. Oh, roughly half the single family homes and condos aren't occupied and by their owners. Aren't occupied ah, by their owners. In the rest of the city, the owner occupancy yeah. rate is closer to 75%. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that all these units are sitting empty. They could be rented out by their owners who live elsewhere. How but long have you and your mother been lied to about New York, Lamau? Account created five hours ago, following since 10 minutes ago. I'm sure this man will enlighten us <laughs> about, uh, about affordable housing units that are uh, that are built into some of the New York. Oh, never mind, bro. Oh, nice, dude. That one was creative. Yeah, that was really <laughs> good. <laughs> oh, he didn't even wait, bro. He's he just like brackets. straight up. I can respect that. He just straight up <laughs> dropped. Oh, never mind, dude. Good one. Well, he made us laugh, I guess. I wonder if Twitch will ban that person uh, from the platform. I wonder if that person will get a ban on the platform. Very creative, dude. Gotta be honest, I didn't see that coming. What's up? <laughs> I, I, well, I didn't see that coming that fast. Same. You know? But none of the billionaires row developers would share their occupancy rates with us. And this data gives us a glimpse into how the area around billionaires row compares with the rest of the city. Of course, there's more to owning a property here on billionaires row than simply having a place to stay on your trips to New York. You can also score a pretty hefty tax break. Oh, here it comes. 
That's partly because of the way condominiums are valued here in New York. You'd think the value of a property on Billionaire's Row is the price you can sell it for, right? Well, no, this is New York City and there's a tangled mess of laws to make things complicated. Here, condos are taxed as if they're a rental apartment building. But the problem is, no one's really renting a $100 million apartment, so there's no benchmark for what the rental value would even be. $10,000 a month, $100,000 a month, there's no precedent for something like that. It's not so $10,000 a month. So what ends up happening is the Billionaire's Row condo is taxed the same as a unit that's worth a fraction of the cost. But that's not all. Ultra luxury can also have another fuck? massive tax break through something called the 421A exemption. Now, we know that talking about the US tax code is not why you clicked on this video. Wrong, that's precisely why I clicked on this video. What the fuck are you talking about, homie? That is exact, give me the tax code. But as boring as it sounds, it's actually a really big part of the appeal of Billionaire's Row. The 421A tax break was originally introduced in New York in the 1970s as a way to encourage developers to build residential housing. That's because the city was concerned about people leaving for the suburbs. Now, the rules have changed a lot over the years. Today, it's been rebranded as the Affordable Housing New York program. Essentially, developers can get up to 100% of their property taxes erased for a set number of years if a fifth of their development is classified as affordable housing. By the way, the guy that spammed the N-word was literally saying that what he's describing currently is wrong. Like what this man is also describing is what I was describing. And I think you're giving him too much credit. Despite none of the units in 157 being anywhere code. near affordable to a non-billionaire, it still benefits from this tax break. How? And so if you can defer most, if not all, of the monthly real estate taxes to the developers Wait, sorry, so is, and then also is the pass definition that on of affordable to just the like... owners, then the buyers would just jump on these options left and right. The New York City Independent Budget Office actually did a deep dive into 157's use of the 421A exemption. I've lived in a lottery apartment in Manhattan. There is not a poor door. Other tenants aren't told who is a lottery recipient or which units are lottery units. I mean, li li I'm just saying, like, it might not have happened. It might not have happened in your situation, but th there is one that, I mean, there are definitely ones that, like, uh, have it, okay? A porter is a separate entrance to a multi unit housing development for those living in expensive apartments. The term was coined by the local news site West Side Rag in August 2013, where it is used to describe a new development in the Upper West Side of Manhattan that has separate entrances for the more expensive market rate affordable housing tenants. What the expression poor door refers to is a separate entrance in lobbies and practice. Income segregated buildings may also have gyms, spas, elevators, rooftop gardens, storage areas, and playrooms that only the high income tenants can use. In my experience, it must not exist. What is that? I don't understand what's going on. I'm sipping fucking copium. Like, dude, using his anecdotal experience to, like, they might have they might have ended up banning the practice. Um, they might have ended up banning the practice, but the article says de Blasio went after the concept. Now the low income is another building altogether. Oh, so they were just like, yeah, fuck it. We're just gonna put you guys <laughs> separate people. We'll just make a different building. Opinion, city has gone from allowing poor doors to permitting poor buildings. <laughs> Let's go. So they just like, they were like, oh, it's tasteless to have a poor door. <laughs> so we're just going to make it seem like what? The two buildings are actually in unison side by side. So we're just going to make your own fucking uh, real estate. Wow. Bro, I work somewhere with poor doors, not even in New York City, but elsewhere in NYS at a university. Um, they, by the way, they have, uh, I mean, they still do it. It's like, 
By the way, that's if you're lucky. Don't get me wrong. People would love to fucking live in a poor door apartment. Don't get me wrong. You get to live in a fucking luxury real estate in an incredible fucking neighborhood. You know what I mean? There's waiting lists that are like years, years long. Uh, the lottery is like multiple fucking years long. So, you know, don't get me wrong. This is straight up like uh, exciting for people to get into that uh, uh, poor door apartment. In order to qualify for it, the developers built 66 units of affordable housing in the Bronx, miles away from Billionaire's Row. The IBO estimated that exemption will cost the city $65.6 million in property tax revenue over 10 years. Hey, yo, who's running Still, this it shit? found the way the state of New York values its condos provided an even greater tax break to 157's owners than the affordable housing exemption. Xtel, the developer behind 157, didn't respond to our requests for comment about the IBO report. These tax discrepancies don't just happen on Billionaire's Row. Bloomberg found that one $2.1 million condo in Brooklyn came with a tax bill of just $157. <coughs> Meanwhile, a nice. That seems nice, dude. Condo in the Bronx, worth roughly a tenth of that, paid nearly four grand. So the poor person living in a fucking Bronx apartment, like, or the upper middle class or middle class person that lives in the Bronx, or has like a fucking family home or whatever is paying more than the developer is paying because of those incredibly fucking uh, juicy tax breaks that you get the 421 but hey dude these guys are hold up guys 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 you have to remember those are the productive guys okay those are the guys that elon musk and the entirety of the media tells you are the most productive forces in our economy the mega wealthy the ultra wealthy if not for them who would build these condos who would put people inside of housing who would who would own the luxury real estate that's why they deserve those tax breaks these are the job creators but the risk but the risk dude but the mega risk all right copia johnson um peggy's here who peggy hypers is this water for anyone can i go in yeah, no, it's, it's yours. Chatters in the poor building. That's wild. I'm learning so much. I love coming. Tax here. abatement cost the city. It's like a, it's like school, but like fun. fun, right? Yeah. Okay, good. That's the whole goal, man. That's what I try to do. Uh, if I was them, I'd buy out the people in the in subs and build condos, which are normal living. What? 1.7 billion dollars oh my god that's a cute lab. ass dog holy shit yeah, that's a cutie pie oh he's old but he's still cute hey yo what's good no older oh nice right. shirt hello is that, is that a detroit reference yep ford ford mortars what's up yo What's good? We're we're looking at um we're looking at luxury real estate in Billionaires Row right now. Indeed. Good to see. Yeah. It's good. How you doing? You looking at luxury what now? Luxury real estate in New York City and why you got coming closer uh, and why uh Billionaires Row, where all these like mega mega mansions are are, are empty. Oh yeah, she she she's she's desperate. She loves she loves being pet. What's up, so she's trying to lick you. She's she's very violent. Careful, she might lick you. Yeah. So good, so good. What's up? We are gonna play Halo chat, but what we're looking at right now is uh, fucking. Hey gamers, can you shut the fuck up? All right, we're like, having a good time right now. Yeah, Myth literally is like coming hot off the heels of Myth saying, oh, been, "Man, I really do enjoy I've fucking speaking, learning." I've been speaking some. Uh, I've I've seen some uh, people speaking for me in chat. Myth just wants the game. How the fuck do you know? It's just, I mean, yeah, well, they all. It's so weird. I made the mistake of looking up you playing basically anything. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I looked at like one video and I was like, oh, man, I can't, I can't play with this nigga, man. <laughs> I, told, I told Peggy after the show was over, it's like, like. He's like unbelievable. He's like yeah. one of the best, like, I don't even, I don't know what's going on. We I don't always, know what I got myself into, actually. We, we <laughs> always assume, we it's always, fun. we always assume that, like, uh, you know, because we all play video games, like it's not like when you play with someone who's like played at the pro level or can compete at the pro level, like that 
you know, oh, how much better can he actually be? It's like, it's literally like playing basketball with LeBron James. Yeah, man. Yeah, I can. Yeah. Just, just stare into his eyes. He's just fucking right flicks. <laughs> and you're just like, how did you do that? It's how did you flick like that? You referenced me and Hassan uh, when, I, when we were leaving the other day. It's like, you were like, you know, I like watching people like you game. You know? <laughs> yeah. 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 No. yeah myth, myth, myth you people does. <laughs> like we're just, like we're peasants. He's yeah. Like, you know. I tried hiding it actually. He was trying to be as polite I, as possible too. He's like, "Come yeah. on, you know, like uh, I, I he was watching say, people like Hassan play." Yeah, is what I said That's initially. What and then Hassan went like, "You mean you people?" And I was like, "Yeah, I mean you, pe yeah, bad people." Like, yeah. <laughs> I enjoy it though. It's not like a painful thing for me. But you I'm not like an elitist. You just you know the difference though. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I I, I could see it. I'm also, I mean, you're I'm probably gonna still well. be good. You're probably still gonna be really good. Uh, uh, let's me? be real. Compared to me, yes. How, how good yeah, are you? I, I've been mean, I, I wouldn't ask you that last, last time. I'm dog shit. I'm really? terrible. Yeah. Are you telling the truth? Mm hmm Okay. Is he telling yeah, the truth? Yeah, he's telling the truth. Okay, all right. You don't yeah. play a lot? No. Okay. This is what I do. I feel a little bit more confident. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. You will look fucking incredible by comparison. <laughs> you're you're going to look like a king. First. People are going to be like, damn, Peggy's a god, bro. I'll play first to get everybody oriented at how bad I am. And then, you know... You want to get them comfortable with your lack of skill. Yeah, so that they you will look like a god in comparison. <laughs> oh, I was I was gonna ask like, what about the controller? Because I use I'm, I have I'm, I have a I have a PlayStation controller. I think I have an Xbox controller somewhere too, but I don't know where the fuck it is. I couldn't find it. Yeah, but you I can just, play on the PlayStation controller, right? Yeah, I can play. I can play on either. I mean, I've never played Halo on a PS5 controller, but. Yeah, I have a PS5 controller. Right you can play so you on. Played on the computer? Or do you play it on the PS5? I play it on. Xbox. No, no, I meant him like. What's running on the, the PC? You can play with a controller. You just plug oh, it in. Okay. Yeah. I was just yeah. asking like technical logistics. And you can switch mid match between reach. controller. I've tried it. Yeah. I'll try that. If you have an Xbox one, I'll try that one first. Do we? It's in one of the boxes here. I don't know if we can find it. Right? Can it in you the find it? Box? It's definitely on the Pornhub box. We can <laughs> open the Pornhub box too. By the way, I found out that my mom put all the Pornhub stuff in a pillow and was using it. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, it was like sitting out in the rain because she puts, she sits on it. What Pornhub stuff? There's like bags of Pornhub clothing. Oh, she took all the Pornhub clothing and hid it? Dude, that is such she mom behavior. So she can like... That is such mom behavior. When I was younger, I always wondered, make sure there's no like dicks or anything. Yeah, in that's it. what I'm doing. When I was younger, because I, I haven't seen what's in this yet. When I was younger, I always wondered like clothing that I loved wearing that it would just like mysteriously disappear. I was really like, where the fuck did it go? Oh, that was clean. Did he say my mom? Yes, it's Turkish. We're Turkish. Yeah, that's clean. Bro, did you even search for this shit? No cock. Yeah. Like, did you even Apparently. Oh, hell yeah, thank you. Oh, that's big. You got um, the cable for it? Yeah, I got the cable for it. <laughs> I think they wrote you a letter. Look, wait, is, oh, this is old as fuck. Well, this one is not old. This one is the one I bought afterwards, but like I have one that's like crusty as fuck. It's a DualShock 3, baby. Look at that. Six axis. I wish companies wouldn't send letters if they're just printed pre-made letters. I agree. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. No. Oh, the white one. The, no reason. Save this the one trees. is so crusty. Look at this. What's up, dude? Ooh. Telling me I'm not a fucking gamer. Look at this. Oh, they got a different one. Okay, so you like... Make it just okay, so that that litter so you can stamp with that, that in your ass. Yeah, yeah. this is this is a that's anal a plug. Anal butt plug stamp. It's, a, it's a butt plug stamp. Oh, I thought that's what it was. I was yeah. like, is it both? No, I thought it was no, no, a it butt is. plug, and then I pulled it up. It is a butt plug, a but it's a stamp. There's a beanie. That makes sense. No, nah, that's fire, dude. That makes sense. The Pornhub will put that together. Pornhub says, "Ho ho ho!" From all of us at Pornhub, we made a list and checked it twice and decided being naughty is better than nice. We saved Santa the trip and sent you something much better than a lump of coal. We wish you and your loved ones a joyous holiday and a happy new year. Pornhub sweater. Oh, yeah. Can I wear this at dinner? Yeah, I don't care. I wear Pornhub <laughs> shit all the time. <laughs> they, they specified this is not a toy for decorative use only. These are like anal keys or something. That is no, not no, no, no. That's just, just the Christmas nice. ornament. It's a... Here, you can show that. I all snowmen. You can show that. <laughs> they they it. All snowmen are kind of shaped like anal keys. <laughs> Frosty everything is the snowman. Peggy, oh, anything wow, is eat up my ass. Anything's an anal beat here. <laughs> if you try hard enough. Look at where the carrot and eyes are. Okay, Marat. 
chill. Nice. I don't want to get banned. I don't even know what the fuck Twitch is going to do about that. You know what I mean? Okay. Oh, he has some ornaments? It's That's, just an ornament. Okay. That goes hard. I just don't know what I'm going to see. You know? Yeah. I'm yeah, we got ornament. ornaments. Here, show it to the camera. The ornament? Oh. It's just an ornament. It's just a nice little porn hub ornament. Yeah. Put it on your uh, Christmas tree. There you go. Nice. Why'd you wait till now? Show Siswet? No, I'm not gonna show Peggy Siswet, dude. Come on. I don't wanna I don't wanna traumatize him that hard. You wanna see you wanna see something traumatizing? Well Myth hasn't seen this either. Oh my god. What is it? What? Your virgin eyes are about the fucking What? Both of you have virgin eyes, okay? Man. No no like you think like oh I've lived on you this planet me for the fucking weirdo. You, this is on Pornhub? No, 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 no. Uh let's just find her Twitter real quick. Cause she puts her highlights on there. Her highlights? The highlights? Oh. What is that? That's a baby. Oh. No. No. Oh. Okay. That's a full baby. Bro, that is a plastic baby. Oh that's my a, god. That's a full yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh thank god. Make sure the volume is not on. Yeah, that's of crazy. course not. That's really talented. Oh wow. my god. Wow. She sometimes will put like Okay, this is disgusting. There's one that she's what like, look at that. What the fuck is that? Look at that one. Did she put in whipped cream on that? No, 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 no. Oh, no, Come I know. On. It's Astro, it's, it's, yeah. yeah. It's Astro Glide. Nice. This is a lot, man. Wait, is she gonna put the whole thing in? Oh, no! She puts the whole thing in. You know she puts no! the whole thing in. No, she has a, she has a, 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 an incredible oh, talent. Shit. Like, straight up. <laughs> Oh, There's one video shit. where she like literally stands on top of a thing. I, I'm trying to find that it? one. I'm, tr <laughs> I'm trying to find the one where you're like, oh, this one, I think. Oh, this is it. It just keeps going and going and going. It's not even like, honestly, the thing is, it's not even like, uh, who, who the fuck looks at that and goes, that's sexy. Like, I just don't yeah, understand. Okay, do. A lot of people do. <laughs> I don't yeah. understand that. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Oh shit. No, you think that's sexy? Like that's at that point it's like it's an accomplishment. You know what I mean? Like I'm in are, awe. Are you in awe and in, in horny awe over her ability? No, it's not. It, it is literally not horny. I think like for me at least, it, it's it's so insane. Oh, fuck, it I can't insane. find the video, dude. But it's literally that like is insane. How is this legal to put it on Twitter. It's just what what do you oh, mean? Twitter don't get Twitter, 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 Yeah, you can put whatever you fucking you want on Twitter. There's yeah. one where it's like Literally, I wish I could find that video where it's basically a tower, okay? And she just yoink. where she the funniest thing is like every time she's with a dude, where does it go? The dudes have like the fucking most normal looking dicks. You know what I mean? It's like they're not, oh, this is it. This is it, I think. No. Wait, wait, did I just skip it? No, it's down. Is it that hand? No, no, no. Yeah, that was like a full oh my arm. Dude, why was why does it look like that's not good, dude? No, the tower, where the fuck? She like is this it? No. Oh, this might be it. No, that's not it. Dude. God damn it. Anyway. Has Marat lost weight? He's looking healthy. That's what someone said, Marat. This is just not what I was expecting. I this is this is very different. <laughs> Elbow this deep. Is not Christmas Eve. Uh, <laughs> oh, I think this is it. Maybe. They all look like towers, dude. Yeah, no, 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 no. There is. Have you watched that video about billionaires, right? There's <laughs> one. There's one that straight up. He's, he's thinking about appreciation of. It's no, just, I'm telling you. There's it's one. It's just interesting to me that you differentiate them from all of this shit from it because they're all. Just, it's just all like. There's the. Shit. Oh, that's not oh, healthy. That hey. is unhealthy, bro. Okay, we can stop. That is unhealthy. That's, that's very uncomfortable. Oh, oh my god. This that's is crazy. Can we not? That's a whole ass arm and an elbow it's a big ass hand this it's is bigger crazy. than her hand wait is this the one is this the tower i just you need to see it because she keeps going up and up and up and you're like when is the dildo gonna end <laughs> and like it never ends bro it just gets like skinnier but it never ends i swear to god it's like a 30 second pull out and i'm like that shit was in her lower intestines dude i must just i must just be like a heathen, because this does not bother me that much. It's just more like, I'm just more appreciative that someone just, can do this. I am just like, why? I'm extremely uncomfortable. Hey, man. This is how some people get off. 
This yeah, is that's, crazy that's shit. wild. It's just like a big ass chess piece she's putting in there. It's is like she win a fucking? Uh, did she win a like a like a world record or something yet? Or like <laughs> the Guinness Book? Yeah, world record. <laughs> is she in Guinness for the tape measure? I feel like she should be. If not, like oh I might as well God. go down in history or some shit. You know. Like, is that what it looks like normally? The Did thing is, like, own no! fucking arm up there. Whoa. No. <laughs> yes, she did. All the way into her elbow. That one, hey, that one kind of <laughs> got me out of there. Oh, that's it. This is it. I found it. <laughs> oh, my God. I found it. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, look. Oh, you. it doesn't phase you? That doesn't phase you? Peggy, huh? Oh, no. no that one, this one. Yeah. This is enough. Like, she has to grab a chair to finish this shit. It's definitely gonna phase me. She, oh no. Oh, she's going further in. She's going, ooh. Bro. Wow. Yo, the camera can't get the whole thing, dude. It's 45 centimeters. She Bro. must never oh! Oh, oh God! Oh, no, oh, no. No, no. oh, no. oh okay, okay, we're done. No. we're done, 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 we're done. No, why the fuck did I have to see that? Oh God, I'm sorry. Oh no, I'm sorry. Oh my God! I'm mad. I'm mad. We are. We, I, I mean, we don't have the same unified reaction to that shit. It's like, get as far away from possible. From, like, I put my hand up bro, instinctively. It, it, looked, looked, just like, no, it looked like it. the flood from Halo was coming out of her ass. I swear to God. Hey. Like, that is the only gamer relationship I can make. See, someone knows. That heifer wolf right here is a fucking freak. He said, that face of a prolapse anus. Okay? He knew. He knew exactly he what we were looking at. Hef Yo, I haven't heard that word since the 90s. Heifer Wolf. He, he yeah. A heifer. No, it was, this is a username. That's it's he like knew. He but knew. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> but heifer is usually is commonly used to like refer to like a a mouthy or nosy bitch. Yeah, usually. Oh, she a heifer. Yeah, man. I got nothing to do with any of that. I've never. Yeah, I've never heard that. I've, I mean, I've heard it being used, but you, you guys, you already know we haven't. If we were eating, we'd be throwing up. So, bro, I genuinely, I, I don't think I've ever like had that like tightness gag ishness in my throat for a while, but that did it. I've never seen anything like that. That in was my revolting. I, I legit, I seen something. Honest, something came out, and then I was like, oh, that's that doesn't look right. It's like a little and bit. And then came it started out, happening, and then more came out, and then the wall started closing in behind it and look. shit. And I was like, dude, I, <laughs> and I didn't even, I couldn't yeah, look. The it had its it. own, it had its own gravitational pull, like a Bro. fucking black hole, dude. It was like sucking stuff from the room. I think there was a chair stuck in there. It was crazy. You um, know, us humans are capable of doing so much. Yeah. And that transitions us to our next segment: what amazing is, humans. <laughs> <laughs> Hassan, don't show your friends shocking content for once challenge failed. Look at our friend. Yo, you really weren't phased though. You look unimpressed. I dude. think this was was this the was this the one? I don't know. I think this is before I I I think I put it down before. But dude, is your whole was, head in your sweater? This, this was before, huh? <laughs> It's like, like what, what, this, hold on, he, hold on. Is this is this like what, what the very end? This was the beginning. Oh, this, this was, was not beginning? the end. Yeah, this is the beginning. This oh, was yeah, before. Yeah, yeah. We no, need an no. updated version of this one. Your this whole is, fucking head. Yeah, no, I was too. gone. I was like, no. Nope, this sorry. is your face here is impressive. Oh yeah, like, yeah, no. The mo most of that was just like, oh, I was like, okay, that's cool. But no, that that tower shit really. That was, I, see, I see why you make the difference. Play the clip. Yeah, I needed you to oh. see that. Yeah, like, no, I, I, I definitely oh. get it. Yo, it, the camera I come can't out. That's, a, that's a mistake. That's thing, a bad move dude. by me. <laughs> oh man, I actually hate my reaction. It's forty-five it centimeters. Oh, 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 oh God! Oh, 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 we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. I had to pet the dog. We're done. I just pet the dog. We're, We're done. Bit, and I came what back. The He's more than a sport animal. <laughs> 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 
that shit bothered Dude, me, yo. That, that shit really bothered Yo, that shit was really actually disturbing. I feel like fucking... I feel like Hassan is my is my Rick, and I'm just a fucking Morty, dude. Yeah, the that was awesome. Realm. I couldn't deal with that one either, though. That Whoa, one got Rick. real. I don't want to see the prolapse anus. Whoa! Oh, man. You know, myth you have putting... You myth. Trust myth, me. Myth putting his whole head in that hoodie does remind me of... of <laughs> what Sislet was doing. What? <laughs> she could probably put a whole ass head in, in there. She could probably yeah. put you in there. Yeah, like, just, yeah, just like, your entire body. Yeah. Like disappear and shit. <laughs> Would you suffocate if you stuck your head up there? Who wants yes, to see it? Would be like a, it would be like a fucking bat. I'm like, be make like a... this man disappear. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Ta-da! I feel like that stuff, like that we just watched back in the day, like in in our uh, generation, that was like relegated to the darkest corners of the web where like people would look at that like two girls, one cup. Yeah, you, you have, now people are cranking out to it on OnlyFans. It's nothing. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, you're so right about that. That like, um, you had to click through like a bunch of ads oh, to get hella spyware. Yeah. So you could see some shit like that. Yeah, like snuff Back film shit. You now, know what I mean? Like, bro, yeah, you can just log in. He just went on Twitter and just like, you know what I mean? It's yeah. Like, That's Jesus crazy. Christ. So do people like just go to Twitter for their porn now? Um, it's a possibility. No, well, because no, no one just sells it like that. You know, they they they'll, they'll do like a link so they're only yeah, fans. it's like advertisement to something. Yeah, more, I don't think anyone busting thing. it like that for free, like full content. You yeah, know? if you're gonna put that whole ass thing in your ass, like you deserve to get paid for it. You know what I mean? She's just using that as like an opportunity to uh to basically pump out her her real money maker. She's using it like a vehicle, like the billionaires use the A426 tax break in New York. What a segue, dude. What an incredible segue. It's almost as good as my money maker, which is the top of the hour ad break. You know what I'm saying? A contractual obligation that I have by Amazon overlord Jeff Bezos to serve you a one minute ad. Now, of course, if you no longer want to see those ads, if you want an ad free broadcasting experience, you know, second to second, then, well, there's a couple things you could do. You can get a gifted sub. But if you're not lucky enough to receive one, then you can subscribe personally for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime. That's right. Woo! <clears throat> was that Hot Kinky Joe you was watching? No. No, it was Siswet19 or something. I seen the Arbiter come out of that girl's ass. Like, dude, okay. dude. Uh, do you guys if understand why I was on. like, you have to see the tower, though? Because, yeah, like, it's, yeah. like, different. He, he was coming out of here going to go. Cause like Master Chief. it takes like it takes like a good Where like are you? Yeah, it, it took like a good ten seconds for like the entire thing to come out, and you're like, when will it end? Like when you're watching, you're like, she, when she had to grab onto like two, like all the other ones, she was just like smiling or whatever, but that one like you couldn't see her face. She had like two chairs yeah. like, for support. Like oh, she yeah. knew this was serious. Do you think it impacted her ability to walk? Yeah, the Hassan traumatizes guest catalog. We have a we have a running. <laughs> <laughs> I made it! I made it! Yeah, we have a running tally of like uh, every guest I've had on that I show them like you know shit like this. Oh, shit. Look at Connery's face. <laughs> oh, Holy that's incredible, shit. dude. Look at Mar, she looks on face. Maya, bro, not Mara. <laughs> That's funny. All right, Sluglord Slimeball, thank you for the five Damn, gifted. You did make. You had it. You, you had an ace face. You yeah. fucking did. <laughs> That's real. What did you show Ace? Uh, that was the first time. That technically wasn't me. Actually, that was that was Daff. Okay. So notice how she's absent from the compilation mm -hmm. because she was fucking unfazed oh. when she showed us the Siswet stuff. And and she showed you guys. Yes, she was the one who showed me. Oh, a a Ace's uh, girlfriend. Yeah, there's a video of it. Hassan accidentally. That's on another level. Yeah, this is when she first showed us. I'm wearing it. Oh. Yeah. Do you know who this went nineteen is? Oh, it's called <laughs> self <Self-report. laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> She's so he's disgusting. We saw the beginning of this shit. Yeah, this is how it started. <laughs> no, I said, sis wet 19. That's why I have to yell at you. I don't know what that okay, is. Okay, it's fine. If 
You don't know. Now I want to know. No, well, you don't want to know. You don't want to know. Oh, <laughs> no. He, 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 this is a man who's been traumatized, okay, living yeah. with this demon. That's funny. I love them, though. Yeah, no, they're dope. Some of my favorite right. people. Wait, really? Yeah, don't open it on stream. This is going to end poorly. That was a good, uh, is it that was sus boy 19? Right no. Now. I mean, you cannot kind of put together what we're looking at already, right? I was watching her stream. What the fuck is <laughs> porn videos? <laughs> I was watching. It's she a porn doing, star. She was doing a live stream, and I was oh. watching it. I was watching it with the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Yeah, what is she gonna put in there? No way that fits. No <laughs> way that fits. Oh, that's like a bowling ball, dude. Look at her face. Look at her. Why Look at how much this freak is enjoying it. that shit. A fucking demon, dude. <laughs> I get that, but that's absolute, too far. Absolute demon. <laughs> like, I get that, I feel that, but like, no. What the fuck? Hell what is yeah. Like, oh! I feel going? like how is it somewhere? somewhere? Where does it? It's like inside of her intestines, dude. No shot. <laughs> it's about to come out the other side. Okay, now I see why it's it's fast. I feel like all the oh, stuff that so I long. would usually pull up to make somebody feel uncomfortable is nothing. Yeah, compared no, to the shit that Daff is probably using. Oh yeah, no. Like her, what's in her, like. Fucking tank. Yeah, she casually like just said that to you in a slide. Like, you yeah. Heard of, you know. I usually I make people watch how to oh, yeah, basic yeah, videos. Cars, like. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell. She's oh, just God. like the best part of this. The best part of this is that like she is and he's laughing. He's seen it. He's like he's seen some of it. Yeah, but he's like oh, he was not ready for the other like, shit. Stop, stop, I took my stop, glasses stop, off. Yeah. I was like, I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this no more. <laughs> it's like, this I've seen too much. <laughs> oh, no, take away my sights. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her she, fucking face. She looks like she's on a roller coaster. Loving she's like really enjoying it. Every minute of this shit, literally. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was her fell out. Actually. Oh. oh, this is when you see it. Yep. I told you not to. To be fair, that was yeah, disgusting. That was that insanity. Was that was that I, was I, so I, nasty, dude. That was what some the serious, fuck? That that was some serious shit. She was also making eye contact with her, dude. you know, chocolate starfish the entire time. Like, <laughs> notice how she doesn't even look away from the screen. She's just like locked in. Well, I have a question. When your asshole falls out, do you just like suck it back in, or like? I don't know, but I think you it's like called like a. Put it in. There's a term for it, right? Is it is it like a prolapse? Like yeah, a prolapse anal anus. prolapse. I think they call it like a lily or something, right? Good No, dude, that's oh. when they like hang you. Yeah. Like as a port. Yeah, a port. pink sock. Someone said a pink sock. Oh God. A pink sock. That's what it's called. You, you gotta, gotta go to the hospital to put the Why ass is it back in. That? No, wait, really? Oh, oh the yeah, rosebud. Right. That was what I was thinking. I feel the like rosebud. This girl probably experienced though. That's like she probably don't need no doctor. But luckily in my mind. It's probably just another Saturday for her. So yeah. like, what do you do? What's the procedure like? <laughs> look at this, look at these emotes. <laughs> Yo, Twitch chat is so fucking nasty. <clears throat> They're funny. Yeah. The thing I appreciate about this video is the glow up your studio's gone through. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Now it looks like an actual cool... Rosebud is a red flag, usually a fist fetish person. Sometimes it just sucks it back up. Okay. It doesn't have to be a red flag. Yeah, well, I'm, not try I'm not trying to say anything. I'm just saying, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> nothing wrong with... It might just be a red flag to that. Pay, pay, nothing wrong with ass play. <laughs> there is something a little wrong with that level of ass play that we were looking at. Okay, that was... I mean, it's like impressive. That shit is... I mean, that is, I, I usually, <laughs> sorry, I, I usually do uh, issue a trigger warning before showing you Ted Cruz, but I forgot, for the sake of, you know, the, the joke, <laughs> you know, ongoing trigger warning, friend of the show, Ted Cruz. Peggy's. Yeah, I had to get away. I had to, like, physically move away. So from good. Yeah. <clears throat> what? Okay. Lamouse, his people are freaked out by anything. Okay. <laughs> That's like... Mm -hmm. 
That's not like that has nothing to do with uh, being uh, cis yeah, or head. Yeah, that's like that, that's somebody being like and that's a self Super edgy for like no reason. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, Good God. Wait, let's finish this off though. Billionaire, back to billionaire. Oh, I always Roe. forget what the fuck yeah. we're doing. On the this real, thing. the real rosebud. So good. The real rosebud of of New York City. Yeah. Last fiscal year. That's $1.7 billion we could be putting into uh, the development of new, genuinely affordable housing. But instead, it subsidizes mostly luxury housing. <laughs> so everybody else picks up the slack in terms of um, the increased tax burden. Listen, you can argue about capitalism all you want. It's the way of the earth, right? Oh, yeah. This the, dude reminds me of American Psycho. Yeah, obviously, the guy who fucking sells luxury real estate. He's like one of the... I wake up in the morning and put on my lotion, then a concealer, then a vitamin C hydrating exfoliator. I have a rigid workout regimen, and that's why I look the way I do. It's, it's kind of skin. It's kind of sad though, because he, he, he's actually like kind of a nice guy for being like a vulturous capitalist. But he is kind of a nice dude. I've seen like some of his videos where he like bought an entire block like in Brooklyn, based not a block, but like an entire you know couple story brownstone, mm -hmm. and he turned it into a house for himself and his family. And there's a part of it where he like talks about, um, oh shit, lol in your face, thank you for the twenty five, get the subs. Woo. There's a part of that where he talks about you know how his friends are gonna come over at some point and like live in his rooms. And like, uh, you know, uh, he, he will pick out, he will suss out their vibes from which room they choose. And then there's like a brief pause where he's just like, but I don't have any friends to come over or something like that. And that's when, ever since I saw well, that, damn. I was like, oh Super man, I'm, ever since I saw yeah, that, I was sounds like, like, were you trying to support my, uh, theory? my yes. theory? Yes, <laughs> a little bit. Smart people end up being incentivized to make money and their lifestyle increases and they spend tons of money. He does have good and that the money being that, spent like, is then taxed in a lot of different ways. You're paying taxes. Paying real estate taxes, you're paying income tax, you're paying dividend tax, you got capital gains tax, you got sales tax. Yeah, totally. I'm taxed. Except every motherfucker pays all that shit and their real estate taxes. So what the fuck are you talking about? Well, like, oh, rich people don't dodge taxes in this, like, tax-dodging vehicle that I totally know is a tax-dodging vehicle, and I literally market it as such behind closed doors when I'm talking to extremely wealthy people that already know better. Um, you know, they, they pay other taxes, though. Okay, well, pay this one, too, dickhead. If I go outside and take a left, right? I take a lot of rents just so I don't get taxed. Um, there's a lot of taxes here. And so, you know, huh? all of that tax income... <laughs> pays for a lot of the services that we want and have in the city this explanation of tax avoidance was so casual even though a lot of its units like if i can turn left and pay taxes like, why can't can i just turn right a lot of and it kind of reminds me of this term in matthew's book <laughs> called just just take a right turn. <laughs> it's right used to describe a place that has a lot of housing units that are sold but aren't lived in it's not quite dead but also not fully alive either they're coming to get you barbara Stop it! You're ignorant! They're coming for you, Barbara! Now, zombie urbanism isn't unique to Midtown Manhattan. In Paris, second homes are on the rise, and in a handful of its districts, a quarter of the homes are sitting empty. Oh, Some geez. of the most expensive neighbourhoods over in London are eerily quiet at night, as many of the properties are second residences. In Melbourne, experts warned an entire district in a prime location could become a suburb of ghost towers due to unused property. And over in Toronto and Vancouver, tens of thousands of apartments sit vacant most of the year. I would say these buildings um, radically matter to everybody. So the kind of system that produces those towers in Billionaire's Row is the very same system that produces slums, homelessness, and affordability crises. Wait, what the fuck's going on? I feel like my chat is like 30 seconds late. There's like a giant uh, delay in the chat. Hey, chat. Uh, Type one. Yeah. Oh. Okay, that's, like okay, that's not that bad, but...
I mean, just... people were like talking about Toronto and shit while we were like already moving on to Melbourne. So I thought like, yeah, I feel good. I see what so, you were saying. where does New York go from here? The city's in an affordable housing crisis, and it's not like these luxury empty apartments are going to be used to house people who really need a place to live. I think you'll see more people buying apartments for 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 million dollars in 10 years than you'll ever see before, which obviously means that there's going to be a very, very, very noticeable wealth gap in the world. As the yeah, now, as opposed to, or, or in the future, as opposed to what, like right now, dude, there is a noticeable wealth gap right wealthy, now. And the poor get poor. And so who always gets screwed in all of these kind of global financial shifts are the middle class. And that's the people who really do the work. They get taxed. This is also a bit of a self-report because like he's already... He, the poor are already relegated to being fucked over, yeah, right? Just like, so he's just like, like the middle class. Those are the guys who really get fucked over. He's like, what about the poor? They're fucked over right now, motherfucker. What do you mean? He's like, yeah, but those are destined to, you know. They're poor. It's like social Darwinism. They're, they're destined to get fucked over. I mean, they're getting fucked over. Who cares? It's the most because they pay strictly off of income. And where do you go, right? Where do you go? are susceptible to increases in rent that are practically, for all intents and purposes, an eviction. And I think it's very important that we take a moment to underline that evictions are violence. Straight up. People here are protesting the 421A abatement. And they're angry. As a DSA member, Zohran Mamdani. Nice. Across New York, there have been calls to rethink the city's zoning policies and how condos are taxed. Paris, Vancouver and Singapore, and soon to be Toronto, all have some form of tax on vacant apartments. Demonstrators here in Berlin have had enough. Some of their demands include a nationwide rent freeze and the construction of new social and affordable housing. In Berlin and Barcelona, the government's threatened to seize empty buildings and turn them into affordable housing. In 2019, New York state lawmakers proposed an annual recurring tax on second homes valued at more than $5 million, but it was derailed under intense lobbying from real estate groups. Instead, law- Oh, that's crazy. Those very same real estate groups also not only just lobby the politicians, but like uh, every single person that relies, every single person that even wants to become mayor of New York, which as I described is basically just a placeholder position for a person who can manage the interests of the real estate developers in Wall Street and, and uh, the NYPD, Sergeant Benevolence Association, uh, also gets a fuckload of funds from those very same uh, developers and their lobbyists. Lawmakers embraced a one-time fee on the sale of multi-million dollar homes. None of the developers on Billionaire's Row would respond to our repeated requests for comments on the issues raised in this video. I hope that in 10 years' time, we look back at Billionaire's Row as a phenomenal mistake and a dozen missed opportunities. And I, the most important thing that I hope comes out of Billionaire's Row is that the city changes the way that it taxes property, changes the way that it does incentive zoning to actually get the most and, and a fair distribution of payments. Yeah, no. Billionaire's Row shows us once again what the architecture and construction sectors are capable of. It reminds us of their ability to continually evolve and respond to the shifting demands of our economies and societies. Today, these towers stand alongside icons of the skyline and present a kind of history of engineering progress. The rise of 157 set off a super tall boom across New York City that's still not over. Wait, did you grow up in Brooklyn? Yeah, I grew up in uh, Flatbush. Oh shit, how do you feel about the current state of Brooklyn then? I mean, I made a song about it years ago, but uh, to be honest, I haven't lived there in a long time. But the last time I was there, it was a lot of uh, gentrification, a lot of like... Uh, the places I used to go, like mom and pop stores that I knew from back in the day, had like disappeared and turned into whatever, you know. Uh, Whole Starbucks Foods, Starbucks. Yeah. So I saw it in I saw it like in real time, like mm -hmm. at a different time period though. But I have not. I, I don't think I can speak on the state of it as of right artisanal now. quinoa places. Yeah, basically shit like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. or, or whatever that fucking salad thing is in New York that it. 
I mean, actually, I've eaten there before. It's not bad, but what is it? Chopped or something? There's like a oh yeah. There's like a quick salad bar. <laughs> there's a little quinoa. <laughs> it's not sweet green. It's like something different. I think it's like literally called salad chopped. I just, I just remember what quinoa was like three yeah. months ago, dude. I'm just so uncultured in certain aspects. It's really funny. It's, it's, quinoa is just like diet food. I don't like it. I think quinoa is mid. Yeah, it's it's just fucking. It's just. I'm not a fan. It just kind of doesn't to, taste like anything. Yeah, just, just something just like to like filling. fill you up, or kind of no, barely, something to put in the mix. It's like decorative, almost. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. We're almost going. Towers, the skinny pencil towers on Billionaire's Row, are the most dramatic manifestation of this new world we live in, they are architecture as spatio-financial form, not as shelter or cultural manifestation. So I don't have a problem with tall buildings. I love tall buildings. I don't have a problem with new construction. We need more new construction of various kinds. But for that to be the future of our city suggests to me that we've given up on the ideals of the city in the first place. But as long as human civilization has been around, it's all about what you have and how much you have. And that is what helps civilizations rise and it's what causes them to fall. There's a saying that we shape our buildings and then afterwards those buildings, they shape us. And for me, that's incredibly true of New York City. The city is- Oh my God, my mom would love this video. Did you hear what he just said? Yeah. Yeah. She oh, says that all like the time. Man. She says like city planning is incredibly important for like the class dynamic in a city and all that stuff all the time. It's been shaped like the by city planning buildings. shapes the way the they city works. They chose the product of the events in the city at that time and now they shape the city's future. We had it with the Empire State and the Chrysler Building rising at the very end of the boom years. We had it again with the original World Trade Center rising in the 1970s and standing through the 80s, 90s and early 2000s. We had it with the rebuilding of the World Trade Center in the wake of 9-11 as the city tried to work out what it wanted to replace those iconic buildings. Bro, the new 9-11, the new 9-11, what am I saying? The new World Trade Center is so fucking, it, it's just so whack. I'm of sorry, I, I just, and I, I put it with I don't right. like it. Those super slender skyscrapers have risen to the product of I don't even know what it looks like. One World Trade? I looked at it, I looked at it one day just because I wanted to know what it looked like too, but I've never seen it in real life. The, the, I, was I a, guess the I, station in, underneath it is like kind of, it kind of looks like like Mass Effect or something. Oh shit. I, I've been in the original World Trade Center before. Um, I don't think I've ever been. Film. We have a picture in front of it with like on our dad's shoulder or something. Yeah, from like, I mean. Bro, that straight up, bro, this straight up looks like something sis wet would put in her butt. It also helps us get to 1776 <laughs> feet, baby. I'm just saying, like, am I wrong? Oh my god, Mariah, you knew, yeah. World Trade Center's spire counts the part of the building's recognized height, giving it the final height of 1776 feet, making it the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere. Oh god. Yo, we are so... <laughs> Look at my building, it's so tall. It, no, it's just like 1776. I found the moment only. No more. Uh -huh, Peggy Thompson, and then the boss did him, okay. He came in and he said, you know, you have a dad too. You should start talking about him more. I'm starting to get jealous. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> he doesn't know that I talked about him extensively yesterday about how he got a, a, a doctorate in <laughs> economics from the London School of Economics and like refuses to speak more than three words of English. Have you ever, have you ever heard- it's extremely annoying. Have you ever heard dad? Uh, have you ever heard dad speak like an entire paragraph of words in English? Sometimes. It benefits him, he does. I've never... An entire paragraph. Like, he'll go to the doctor's office and use my mom as an interpreter. Yeah. He wrote his thesis statement in English. Yeah. He wrote like, you know... Didn't he also <laughs> have to fight it like in a dissertation? Because you have to like... I don't know, man. I don't know how PhDs work, but... He, he literally <laughs> refuses. Like, I, I described it as this. I don't know. Tell me if you think it's accurate. He'll walk up to like the donut shop or whatever and he wants a donut. And he'll just point to the donut and go like that and go two. <laughs> That's it. That's like the max communication well, he's ever going to have in, in English. In Turkish, there's a saying like, like if I don't speak a language, I just know enough to like 
describe mm-hmm. my ailment, you know, my ail. So like that's that's the extent of his like practical usage of. But language. like he's capable. He's more than capable. Is the point? But he refuses he also to speak. speaks German. He rarely ever speaks German. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. He went to German boarding school. He just like he'll just go two. I feel like the amount of like self restraint to just not speak English, especially when you're in the states, is like fuck. Dude, no, he like, just refuses. Like, respect. He, he refuses to speak the language of the colonizers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a he's a dedicated anti-imperialist. Chat. That's what it is. No, I'm kidding. He's also the number one capitalist in your life. Yeah, that's true. He's mega capitalist, big neoliberal, who also claims he's a social democrat. But that's besides the point. Well, you know. Did you see the LeBron's and COVID denier? Stop. We already talked about it extensively, and then everybody immediately turned the conversation over to Michael Jordan because I said Michael Jordan is not a good person. Anyway, One World Train Center. But LeBron is. I like it. What? I said, anyway, World, One World Train Center. I like it. What happened to LeBron? LeBron posted you, you don't something. You back into it if you don't want to. No, no, it's fine. LeBron posted an uh, Instagram. Uh, LeBron posted a, a, like an Instagram post. Where he just posted this basically. Where he's, Wait, what? He posted this and he goes, Help me out, folks. Is that real? He really posted it? Yeah, he said, COVID, cold, oh, flu, shit. help me out, folks. And I was just, you know, because I'm a massive LeBron simp, I was engaging in some uh, some propaganda for LeBron. Right. Okay. Where I was just like, Yeah, he's just, he's, we don't know. Maybe he just doesn't know what, you know, there's a lot of people with the cold right now and a lot of people with the flu, but like. Oh, that might be what he's talking about. That's that, what I that thought. thing that. going on. Are you a LeBron as well? Caption. No, I mean, not really. I just, like, I find myself defending him more than I have to for one reason or another. But, like... <laughs> me too. Yeah, I, I, he might be referencing that because someone else told me about that too. Like, I could see that. I've been hearing people complaining about, like, oh, what is what? He probably knew what was... He probably knew people would misinterpret that, though. Yeah, that's extremely so, generic. Yeah. Okay, thank God. All right, I'm not alone. Shit. Okay, good. Just yeah, I, I, just help me out, folks. Like... You yeah, he knew what he was doing. Yeah, he knew he, what the fuck he was doing. You could have not picked another caption to like. He definitely did. He was bored at home. He was yeah. chilling. He was in his mansion. <laughs> he was He's just grenade. like, you know what? <laughs> How do I make this shit as controversial <laughs> as possible? Yeah, he was like, it's a slow day. <laughs> fuck it, man. Yeah, because it, because this, know. yeah, this is like, if, especially if you live in LA, this is this is probably your interpretation <clears> different, but to the rest of the world. He thinks Omicron is bullshit. He got a positive test and a negative two days later. They put him back without quarantining, so he's sus for like a month. I don't know. I think, yeah, he just means, or like you have the sniffles, but you're not sure whether it's the cold, flu, or COVID because they all have the same symptoms. That's what I thought, too. Yeah. That's what I could see. Yeah. From it. Yeah, yeah. But, it, but it's all vague, even to help me out, so, folks. It could be yeah. interpreted either but way. But the problem yeah. is, like, there's a lot of people who just purpose, fucking, man. there's a lot of people who just hate LeBron, and if you hate LeBron, you're a racist. Sorry, it doesn't matter, okay? That's why, because he's a good dude. I'm just kidding. But sports fans do get overboard with their hatred for LeBron. They literally found like a video. They found someone sent me a video from like like 15 fucking years ago or some shit where apparently LeBron like took his clothes off in front of the like took his like um, you know the throwaway pants or whatever they're called like oh when he like I, I know and he like pants? threw it he, he threw like, it on he, the ground instead of like handing it to the to the you know the ball boy or whatever it's called like the towel boy. Yeah. yeah. Looking and deeper into this stuff. That's, that, that's evidence of LeBron being like a shit person. Yeah, they were like, this, he's a piece of shit. To support LeBron James' uh, stance here, you have three Spider-Mans that look the same. But are they the same underneath? They just have no. different... It's Tom outfits. Holland. Tom Holland. Mm-hmm. It's, you know, uh, whatever his name, McGuire or whatever. And the other dude. But one Spider-Man is definitely <laughs> better than the other. The last name one was Spider-Man, the one. Yeah. one Spider-Man is better than the other. So yeah. even though they all look like Spider-Man, right. they're all different deep inside, which I think is what LeBron Chat's is trying uh, to pointing out you're giving out a lot of spoilers right now. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, come on, dude. This is when he got the Omicron. Something real fishy is going on. Oh, no. Le Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's so funny. The fucking, you know, the Mickey Mouse ring, like all the shit. I mean, I love LeBron James. He has a like, Mickey Mouse ring? They just say he has a Mickey Mouse ring. Why? Because, like, you know, 
the well, I don't teams know. are he's too goddamn famous. <laughs> well, that it's like because also... because all this shit seems to be like based on like people just overlooking into shit or something. No, no, no. They they say that he's they say that he's he's he doesn't he didn't earn his like fucking rings in the same way that other people because like one because he got a quarantine ring and two because like they say that like all of his sports teams that are like designed for him to win. Like they put a lot of superstars together. Isn't that the point of the game? Yeah. And also the bubble was in uh, Orlando and Disney World. Man. Mm. People just hate him, dude. <laughs> that, that's just classic old hate. Still a ring. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Exactly. Yeah, it's kind of like... It's, like, it's, people real, say it's, just, it's like a straw man argument. People say it's a Mickey Mouse ring. Jordan would never. It's just like... It's all Jordan fans, okay? That's what it is. It's like Jordan hipsters. Dude. Who are wrong, this and that LeBron James sports is debate better is athlete. so interesting to me. It's like the longest debate that'll never get an answer. People are so <laughs> fucking invested. Yeah, it's like, dude, it, it baffles me. I don't, I'm not a huge sports person, but I'm always like shocked as to how invested some sports fans get. But I mean, that's what makes it entertaining. It, it's kind of like this, it, yeah. But look, listen, that that is the that is what I always say as well. Jordan played against plumbers and math teachers, <laughs> like. That's like the classic LeBron Stan retort, yeah. which is true, by the way, because Michael Jordan did play against plumbers and Wait, math what teachers. Because the athleticism in the league at the time, uh, when Michael Jordan was popping off, was very different. Like the average athleticism in that league at the time, due to like medical science and everything else, was not comparable to now. Did my, what did Michael Jordan do? A lot do more superstars football? and a lot better. I'm going to have to disagree, man. You don't agree with me on that? Because, I mean, I, I, I think, I don't think it was like, I don't think they were plumbers. Like, he had, like, superstars in there. Yeah, he, was just the best, he was just the best of them. But the yeah. average player, they were more the average player base. Was, like, layman human, like, level, right? Oh, I thought you were talking about their skill level. Like, they no, no, this. they were, they were still incredibly skilled, but like in comparison to like today's average NBA athlete, yeah, they're, their, their, you know, their musculature, their level of skill, their, their overall, like, it's, it's kind of like oh, overall, about yeah. how the, you know, Olympic like records just keep moving and the average keeps moving up with it. Yeah. yeah. You know, just because of the technical capabilities of <laughs> the sport. Turkey Social Zimmerman talks about new 9-11 and calls Freedom Tower ugly. Okay, dude, come on. <laughs> Anyway, it is a joke that that is not a real article, but I thought it was, dude. I literally, I was like, "Yo, what?" For a second, I was. <laughs> For a second, I really looked at that shit like that fast. <laughs> it's stream still happening. The fuck, yeah. On um, case. That's what that's what people say. I think there's truth to <laughs> it. Like... By the way, I think there's truth to it. And then the and then the classic Michael Jordan Stan delusional uh, retort to that is, well, it's like much more physical. And like LaFraud would fucking, uh, you know, dance like a ballerina and flop. And it's like, dude, this man has the one grace of a ballerina at like six foot fucking eight, right? I think mm -hmm. he's gigantic. You think he wouldn't be fucking destroying plumbers and mathematicians and math teachers if that is what it demanded? Like, you think the guy who who is the greatest athlete of our generation is not going to be able to throw elbows get the fuck out of here you saw what he did to that other dude when he fucking cocked someone in the face what was his name and he got uh, oh yeah that was like a, a few months ago so. yeah I, i'm pretty sure he can fucking you know throw some elbows i mean i'd have I'd, i mean i don't know i'd agree i'm not gonna like throw my hat in there but i'd agree like he, he lebron is good enough to be good in whatever area he probably plays in look at the probably. guy covering him all every angle from the shot I don't know. I could say the same about Jordan, though. Like, he would just adjust to the game today. I don't really think he would Oh, for it. sure. No, 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 no. I, I absolutely agree. But, like, look at the average player and the way they look and the way they played uh, versus, you know. They're all kind of, like, standing. I mean, I don't know, man. Yeah, you're, you're, like, just saying, oh, Jordan wouldn't benefit from, like, medical science today. <laughs> Larry Bird would make LaBooster look like a high schooler. I love those. I love all of the fucking, like... Uh, the anti-LeBron uh, memes, though. They're so funny. For the people that dabble in this debate, do they actually think that there is an answer to, like, the debate? No. It's just, like, barbershop talk. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> there's, 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 no, there's no, like, deeper point. I was actually point, wondering. But, like, end goal. It's just, like... Because I'm so far away and detached from this world. I was just... This guy said LeBron can't play baseball. Well, yeah, neither can Michael. <laughs> yeah, neither can Jordan. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> we know that as a fact. Okay. Space Jam was better. Yes. Well, oh, Michael, okay. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, 100%. Not you even. saw the new one? Yeah, I did. It was fucking dog. Me and Chris sat down and watched it together because he's also a LeBron simp. And we just like sat there and watched it. It was so bad. Will told he me about it. So I didn't watch fucking it. bad at acting. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. Will, <laughs> Will, Will just talked about it. it and I was like, yeah, I'm not watching that shit. It's so bad. New Space Jam is so dog shit. It is so fucking bad. And it's bad for a multitude of different reasons. One of it is that like all movies are now just like self referential IP flexes. Like, look at all the IPs that this multi. Uh, national corporation owns, you know, Warner Bros, HBO, Disney, Supermax, or whatever the fuck. Like, yeah, yeah. look at all the things that we own. And, uh, but also because LeBron is so bad at acting. Like, <laughs> like holy fuck. Didn't if they you only, have, don't they only physically use him in like five scenes or some shit too? Like, if you have Kevin Garnett's command performance in uh, oh, the uh, Uncut Gems, uncut gems yeah. as like peak, like, athlete to act the greatest athlete acting yeah performance you ever. have lebron james in space jam 2 is like at the bottom like you got shaq would win an oscar oh yo <laughs> shaq what, looks what like an oscar it? award what, shazam was he, what was the, yeah shazam the fucking genie movie he was yeah. in shaq looks like a <laughs> yeah it's like why the fuck was he a genie yo? yeah everyone accepted it though including me yeah so. <laughs> Maybe it was Kazan. It, wait, no. I, I just looked it over there. Somebody said it was Kazan. Or was it Shazam? It's Kazam, not Shazam. I was wrong. Oh, shit. It, you've never seen this, have you? Mm-mm. This is before Kazam? your time. You probably weren't alive back then. When, when, when did it come out? 96. It's got a 24% Metacritic, 3 out of 10 on IMDb. Hell 5% yeah. on Rotten Tomatoes. Instant watch. What yeah. the fuck is this? Wait, seriously? You don't know about this? No. Wait, this is a 10 second video. Hold on. I gotta I gotta find like a trailer or something. What is this? Is this like original Aladdin? trailer? Look. This is 90s fuckery. It's not supposed to be fuckery, I don't think. Yeah, I think it was serious. Like they weren't doing yeah, they this to be like terrible. It was like a serious, like, we got Shaq in this movie. Hmm. Lives of the yeah, you know. <laughs> he served some of history's most notorious tyrants. Today, he's about to meet his match, 14-year-old Max Connor. And together, they're about to fall into something big. How did he survive that? Yeah, like what? Why did he, he play music before he saved the kid? That look good. Look. He's scaring them more. Dare to wake me. My culture's not your problem. Now. Are you like really lonely or something? A kid who never asked for anything but trouble. Make your feet wish in a mighty of things. Is he Jamaican? I don't think you're watering anybody. Has inherited a genie. Wait, what was his accent? I don't even remember. Yeah, do you hear that? I, I blacked out most of this movie. Like, I don't I remember, remember shit about this yeah, movie. Yeah, exactly. I remember watching Except it, that it and happened. don't remember anything. <laughs> now. Are you like really lonely or something? A kid who never asked for anything but trouble. Make your feet wish in a mighty of things. I just sounds normal. I don't know. Yeah, he was normal. just talking normally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I Shit. told everybody earlier today that Shaq is a cop and everyone got sad. He actually is a cop. Yeah, straight up. He has like, he like did a class to become an actor. Yeah, he's like a, he's he's got like two honorary uh, uh, That's like some deputizations as well. Like University of like yeah, I mean, Arizona. He, he, he like also that. said he also said that he would have become a cop multiple times if he was if it wasn't for the NBA. I mean, he's, he's it's like what can you even? He's fucking huge. Like, what can you even like say to that? Yeah. Except like he's he's that. a military brat. That's probably why. It's like who just <laughs> won't get out of his life. You gotta want something, kid. Then I wish I had junk food. Come here, let's go. Hi there. That's it. A happy deal. He made his brain cry. Candy. Touchstone Pictures presents Kazam. Honestly, this is not that bad. This looks pretty. This looks pretty entertaining. I'm not gonna lie. Smell like hippopotamus butt. <laughs> 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 
I wonder where this kid is now. Uh, Shaquille O'Neal. No way I'm losing this race, buddy. I'm gonna kick your butt. Dream on, loser. Damn. <sighs> hmm. That's how movies are supposed to be. How does that make you feel? I think I'll pass. You know? <sighs> maybe, uh, maybe I'll watch it when it's like the last movie on Earth. Like, Shaq <laughs> has done a lot of like commercial stuff, so I, I feel like it's not hitting as hard. Yeah. Because you expect that from him, you're like, oh, okay, whatever. At the time, I guess it was very like, oh, shaq Wait, what the fuck is this? Shaq is Steel, a superhero who has to free throw? Yeah, yeah, Shaq, he was Steel. <laughs> he was Steel back in the day, too. He also had a, a whole album. He used to be a rapper, too. Yeah, yeah, and now he's a DJ. He DJed at Tomorrowland. He's like a great DJ. Who's it? What was the meme? Someone said, yeah, someone said uh, Shaq looks like the guy who finished the main quest and now he's just do completing all the side <laughs> missions. <laughs> like, he's just doing everything. Incredible. Damn. Is he not good at free throws? Is that the joke? Mm hmm. Shaq Fu. Show them Shaq Fu. Oh, I've seen Shaq Fu. Kevin Garnett Uncut Gems clip. Okay, we'll yeah, look at this one. It's the best Sandler movie, hands down. It, it's such a good, it's a such job. a great fucking movie, dude. Waterboy. Yeah, look at them. They got nothing. No, I, I, <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> like, was so good. I've never understood. I, I, I like, this is maybe a little Turkish to me, but like, I've never understood the Adam Sandler fascination. I've always found him and his movies to be like fucking say, really terrible. I don't really know anyone who's fascinated with him. I think he just makes like it's really consumable. trashy movies. That yeah, I'm sorry, my, our family like, growing up. We, yeah, yeah, we it's kind of like Adam Sandler movies all the fucking time. We there love, you go. That's it. That's... Love Waterboy. Fucking uh, yeah, I Happy hated that shit. It's like lowbrow humor. The, the one yeah. where he's like growing up. I think it's just so it's so it's such goofy shit. Yeah, and it's, it's like so, so fun to like re like uh, reference. I don't know. It's like reference as well. Yeah. Cause it's so dumb. Yeah, the only the only uh like there's a couple of Adam Sandler movies that I like, even though like Click traumatized me. I think. Why did Click you the remote one? <laughs> <laughs> Why did Click? It what happened? What do you mean, dude? Life passes so quickly with the remote, like, and you're like, holy shit, that's that shit didn't make me feel sad. And then I was like, yeah. damn, dude, you were just like. That's an analogy to fast forwarding your whole life, dude. That's yeah, that's like a, that. that's analogous to like how the older we get, the quicker time passes. You know, I was just like. I was like fucking 14, 15 click. or something, like terrified. I was watching I it like I didn't even think about it. I've though. never been able to go to a Bed Bath and Beyond and not think about that movie. Yeah. <laughs> they did good for Bed Bath and Beyond. It's my yeah. flap and I'll do what I want with it. Click was existentialist terror, the deepest Sandler film. I agree. Straight up. I agree. Uh I liked uh, Happy Gilmore. That was good. What was the other movie he was in? He was in like Billy Madison. Or not Happy Gilmore, sorry, uh Mr. Deeds. Mr. Deeds. I like that what one. What was the one where he he fucking um he like he came from hell and he was like making he was like throwing pot he was eating Popeye's chicken the whole movie or something. Oh, like you're talking about uh, you know what I'm talking about? Zohan. No. That's a technical foul. Some shit. It was some shit like he was like a demon about, yes. and like little he was Nikki. like obsessed with little yeah 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 little, yeah that little Nikki. Nanger. What the fuck was that? That movie like, was what? a fever dream. <laughs> that movie was a straight fever dream. That Actually, movie is it, really good. That's something I have to go rewatch. Was it 500? Same. Was was 500 first dates or whatever? Also Adam Sandler. 50, 50, 50 first, first dates. Yeah. Yeah. 500. You see, it's, 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 it's just low brow shit that you can just be yeah. like, this is like, it's not. I don't I really think, think anybody's. Fifty first like, dates was like a low brow shit. Pretty good. Movie. Not like I'm talking about like Waterboy and shit like yeah. that. Yeah. I, I not, guess I, I. I agree with you. I just I didn't like Waterboy at all. Gatorade. Oh yeah. It's you oh, oh. Gatorade. It's you oh. See, Water sucks. It really, really sucks. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, this is does not. Like, if you me. can't do that, then you wouldn't understand the appeal of Adam Sandler movies. So, you know what I realized? Like, he. Under, you can tell he grew up in America just because he loves references. Like, random ass references. He'll, like. He'll yeah. memorize all of them and just, like, fire them one after another. That's an American thing? Yes. Oh. Yeah. 
We don't. I, I I don't have like a lot of references. Like we like, make uh, references, but like I don't memorize like Adam Sandler's like whole repertoire just so I can like fire <laughs> him like consecutively. Someone said, "I've only seen Myth three times on stream, and he's always wearing all black." Lamal didn't ask. Move on. Can I calm. ban him? No, don't <laughs> ban him, dude. <laughs> don't ban him. Suck my he dick. Said, don't question. Why? Trip, bitch. <laughs> Why? You did the same thing if it was you. <laughs> Suck my 40% black, 50% Lebanese, 10% European cock bitch. Woo! Man, it feels going to be interesting on God that damn. one. That was, that was some shit I would do, but I would not abandon him because you do always wear all black. You gotta... It was just for the bit. Could we unban that guy, please? Oh, you're too much. You're such a pussy, dude. Just keep it. Just keep him banned. No, no, no. Thank Stay you, Stay banned. Mons. Not your average African on band him. No, because no, that's like a villain origin story. It's like, I got Myth, bad. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you Aww. fucking better be. Oh, he was like a nice guy. That's why I wouldn't abandon him. I have good sixth sense about these things. Oh. I say to myself. Oh my god. Mm. No, people are going to say I'm racist. I thought that was Lil Uzi. Oh for my a god, dude. I was hoping you wouldn't say hey. that. Yeah. I thought the same shit when I Thank saw that. I just, fucking, okay. I just breezed past it, though. I, I, just, like, <laughs> I was in the movie from last night. Yeah, Lucky Stanfield. It's such a good movie. I I highly very, recommend very, this very again. Stressful. Really, very really stressful. good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The Safdie brothers are so fucking good at just like keeping I, your asshole clinched through the entire fucking experience. Did you guys Their like other the movies ending? really good too. Hmm? Do you guys like the ending? Yeah, I, I love it. it. I, I wanted to watch it. No right spoilers. No spoilers. Just when it came out. Yeah. And Hassan was like. Oh, I'm not gonna watch another Adam Sandler movie. He, I don't like his humor. And then I never got to watch it. And he watches it and loves it. Think, good yeah. Times I was fire too. Good Times was really good too. But this is better. Uncut Jim is better. I love the ending. I loved every part of it. It was awesome. It really fucking good. Oh, the ending is so garbage. Oh, okay, no, dude. It. Yeah, it, no, it was great. Ending is the perfect ending. It's the only way it could have ended, Loki. Yeah. Uh, Julia Fox is incredible. She's like a like an actual sex worker, right? Before this, like she doesn't have a lot of um, she doesn't have a lot of roles before this. I think it was like her first like big movie, if I'm not mistaken. She was great in it too. Anyway, it's open. You guys want to get Halo rolling? I'm scared. You want? Maybe. There's nothing that happens. Hasanabe is a swerve? Wait, what? What's a swerve? Sex work exclusionary radical feminist? What are you, crazy? <laughs> what the fuck? What is that? You, like, I have <laughs> talked so much about fucking sex workers' rights. Hasan's been to porn shows. <laughs> yeah. And I was in the chat trying to get him to hook me up while he was at the porn show. Have you seen Sorry to Bother You? Of course, dude. Boost Riley is a fucking communist. That's a great movie. It's an incredible movie. Yeah. You missed a $200 bit dono. Wolf, Merry Christmas Eve. It says Puppy Girl Jenna. Wait, what? Oh, shit. No shot! Huh? No, that's not actually her. No fucking <laughs> shot, bro. No she got clipped? shot. Shot. Oh my god, is that that thick dog girl from the other day? Yeah, no fucking shot. No. I don't, I can't tell, like... What? $200 for a bit? I mean, that they would do that. That's extremely Twitch. Oh. Girl that pretends she's a dog. No about information or anything, though? Yeah, no. I think it's actually suspect that she has an uploaded picture. You know what I mean? Like, I'd believe it more if she didn't have an uploaded picture. <laughs> C-Max Saga account? <laughs> Maybe. She knows Austin, she used to be on a show? Yeah. Prove it, follow him on Twitter. Yeah, follow me on Twitter, puppy girl Jenna, if that's actually you. Let's see. What the fuck is there? Is it puppy girl Jenna on Twitter? We're waiting. 
Oh, follow me too. TSM underscore myth. Please. Oh my. Okay, dude. <laughs> What is this? Cam Gary, I have an early Christmas for you. Merry Dismas. You really want to do this? You want to send me a fucking diss rap track in, oh, front, of, in front of Peggy? Like, cause I, I will be brutal. That'll be, you don't want this. You don't want this. 18 views. Well, it's, he's a chatter. I know him. Oh, oh this is just some, oh. Okay. Oh my gosh, she followed me. Oh my god, it's actually her! Oh no! Wait, it could be fake. No, bro, she literally just followed me. Yeah, but like, she didn't follow me yet. So it could be fake. Oh, you're just trying to get that follow- Okay, yeah, yeah. Who is this? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. Who's following you? The puppy girl, Jenna, that we saw from before. Girl. Yeah, no, it was real. Did she oh, follow you? No. I'm Myth not. is sliding I, I into her know, DMs dude. as we no, fucking speak at an alarming no. quickness. Wait, what's what's the situation? There's oh. I, I don't even want to explain it. You wanna you, you want me to explain it? Well, Marat, this is puppy girl <laughs> Jenna, okay? <laughs> puppy play Jenna. Well, I just that's what I looked up. This is it. This is her, Marat. This girl who just is Lorenzo. He fell in love with Jenna. I think my favorite thing about Jenna is her ability just to embrace who she is. Despite living a puppy dream. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, it's just like that. She tweeted at you, sent some bits, Merry Christmas. Oh my God. Yeah, we know yep. now. We know it's her. That's crazy. Wow. Peggy noticeably not being like thirsty at all How and not saying, happen? hey, you should follow me. <laughs> I'm was good. that today? What? What are you trying to say? <laughs> I'm saying you were thirsty. The thirst was. No, I wasn't. I just wanted to verify the information. Dude, she has. Did, you see, this? did you see this? <laughs> I did see this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> your hand is in your mouth. Yeah, because I was eating mac and cheese. <laughs> Not because I I wasn't licking my fingers over puppy dog Jenna. I swear. I swear to God. I mean, I that's kind of what it looks like. Pictures man. worth a thousand words, and uh, what <laughs> I'm man, seeing. I don't know. <laughs> I gotta go. Peggy disapproves. Meanwhile, you hmm? very much approve. I think disapproves of what? Of what's going on? Oh no, I don't disapprove. He doesn't disapprove. He's, he's just like, just, look, he's just, like, you have the exact same look, look on your face for when that girl was doing things on Twitter earlier. Oh, Me? Oh so yeah, so what? Nine K or whatever. <laughs> Eating the wrong dish cost him 18 years of his life? No. Oh, is that the guy with the um, Krispy Kreme they thought was drugs? What? No, I don't they know. They thought of what? This random dude gets pulled over. Like, cops find what they believe is methamphetamine or some shit, and it turns out to be Krispy Kreme glazing. Right, oh, by the way, Puppy Girl's in it. Thank you for the bits again. <laughs> Before I forget. <laughs> Oh, Mint is not chaotic mac good. Cheese. Mac and cheese. Oh yeah, nice. you know he did this? Shoes, mom. I, I found out afterwards. He just he just straight up was What? No. No, I'm not shot. DMing the puppy girl. No I'm, shot. I'm messaging someone else. No, shame no, no, no shot, shot <laughs> bro. No. no shot. This is taken far this is taken out of context. Oh. Oh my god! This is taken out of context, dude. I was not DMing the goddamn puppy girl. I hate you so much. No, <laughs> chat, listen. I can explain. I was DMing a friend. It yeah. happens to be Actually, puppy play. No, 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 no. Like, uh, this is your... <laughs> Straight up, made this about to be the new Lorenzo. Dude, terrible. You didn't even wait like five minutes, dude. You didn't want to be like, hey, I gotta go to the bathroom. You didn't real quick. follow me. He? Is it she? <laughs> oh, okay, Jesus I'm done Christ. messaging my friend. Not puppy girl. What? What are we doing? Okay. Are, are we showing? Oh, this is this was what you were doing. Oh. Uh, you know, just doing regular myth things like DMing puppy girl Jenna immediately after the follow it's or not, not what I was doing. Eating mac and cheese with your fingers secretly. Hey, we're gonna play games today, right? 
Okay, what is this? Accidental racist Stevie Wonder on Brad Paisley and LL Cool J Larry King. Now, where is the song? <laughs> Wait, is there a... Wait, tell me there's actually a fucking the music video for this. Please. I mean, I got away with it. Yeah, we had no idea you were I got away. That. Okay, so... The mac and cheese was banging, by the way. Yeah, I told you. Dave Sachin has such good mac and cheese. It was like, you know when you eat like Kraft and it like hits the spot? It's like that, but like two levels above Kraft. But, but it's not like super bougie mac and cheese. It's like at a good spot. Like they should keep it there. Should I listen to the diss track? I don't know. I feel like that's... Okay, here. How the fuck you 30 years old and you balding? Last time you got your balls touched, it was spalding. Okay, pause shit real quick. Why the fuck he talking like he's got his parents in the room? <laughs> Cause he probably Why does. He's fun. like 19 or some shit. Yeah, yeah, yes. Mom just loves. Get him. Get him, man. <laughs> oh wow, that was. Oh, I didn't even need to say anything. Holy shit, rolled and smoked. All right, wait. We gotta hear it though. Maybe he's. You still ain't hit a money spread, tiny ass dome, bitch. You got a Beetlejuice ass head. And for a week just for saying cracker, catch under in these streets, and I'm a fucking smacker. I'm just playing, bro. You know we like your mama more. Over 100 bodies of Rutgers. You a fucking whore. I ain't slut shim with goddamn. That's a hefty number. How the fuck you get no <laughs> bitches? Pause again. Hot girl, so too crazy, nigga. I ain't Wait, what? Fuck. You a fucking whore. I ain't slut shim with goddamn. That's a hefty number. How the fuck you get no bitches in a hot girl? So too crazy, nigga. I ain't stopping. Put some jammies in the chat. We gonna get shit popping. <laughs> fuck you, Hassan. You ain't fuck my mom. Fuck you, Hassan. You ain't fuck my mom. Fuck you, Hassan. You ain't fuck my mom. Bum, 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 bum. Fuck. Bro, you could have just, you, you just stayed on beat. That's he, what you he was the, he was the kid in middle school and high school that like started talking all fast and shit when they had to do in front of the class presentations. He, oh Jesus! Is this straight toilet water? <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> so is it blue face type flow? Oh, oh Jesus Christ! Okay, that was oh Jesus Christ! It's because I, you know, make your mom jokes all the time in chat. Do oh. this song. Good God. How the fuck you 6'4 rich and still got no bitches? I ain't in the kitchen cleaning up all your dirty dishes. Said you fuck my mom, then I know you sniffing ether. And cut your damn hair, that shit looking like a fucking creature. See me on the court. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. That was it. That was fair. That's fair. Listen. <laughs> I have struggle hair right now. It's gonna it's gonna look better when I got like even longer flow. Like a fucking creature. See me on the court the way your ass fucking dribble. I'ma take your ankle, snap them shits like they peanut brittle. How the fuck you a champagne <laughs> socialist when you don't even sip? I call your ass a Neiman Marxist, but your ass don't got no drip. Hit up your ex, they gon' suck me like they name Nancy. Why the fuck your merch cost seventy dollars? That shit ain't fancy. Get another dog, bro. We really miss fish. This part is not a joke. What is that? It's my dog. Oh, he passed away. Oh, oh, oh. Is it? This is not a meme. I missed him. You ain't fuck my mom. Fuck you, Vishon. You ain't fuck my mom. Fuck what is the rest of the video? Fuck though? you, Vishon. Just in case any of you bitch ass conservative think shit sweet over here. Fuck all y'all niggas dead or alive. Fuck Rush Limbaugh. Fuck Ronald Reagan. Fuck Ben Shapiro. Wish Nancy was still here so she could uh, suck me, me up. Fuck it. <laughs> he said, oh, yo. He said, wish Nancy, Nancy was, was still here. here so she could suck me up. Is that we've, been, we've been talking a lot about the throat goat here on this broadcast for the past couple of weeks now. Oh, Nancy oh, Reagan? See, now this is the problem with yeah. the left. They just, you know, attach themselves to popular culture. That's, a, that, that's so funny. Like, you were I, very good at that. I mean, you know, it's what I do. I mean, you know, it's I, suspicious. You know, you have this guy named Hassan, and he streams on Twitch, and you know, he ma he makes all these assumptions about the capitalistic society and and you know, feminism, and, and you know, you know, he's the type of guy, you know, that obviously, you know, wants you know, sex workers to be free and and, and a woman to have power, so that he could. Okay, what the fuck? Is that? What the fuck is that? Where is this photo even from? Someone was so horny to put this together that they didn't even care to like crop it. They just straight up was like, I need to be the first to show this right now. What the fuck? I, what do you mean? What the fuck is that? That's literally you. That is not me. That's a real, that's, this is a real photo. He's going to, he's going to go back, so. like crop no, this out of the stream so. and then save it as a background. It seems like it's a real photo. I, you know, I just, I don't know why you're denying it, but. I think there are good reasons why I'm denying it. <clears throat> Messed up. That is bullshit. 
That was that was remarkable. Did C Mac make this? That motherfucker? He is jealous of you. He would never make this though because this is not a made thing. This is real. This is real life. Understood. God made this. Yeah. God made this. Just, it's just a real thing, dude. Man, Halo just Where is this from, bro? Are you wearing a like a like First a game wearing jersey? TSM jersey? Yeah, I don't know say. where the fuck this picture's from. I mean, from. it's definitely like I a little been... younger than you are now. Yeah. No, it's probably like 18, 19 right there. What the fuck C-Mag is that? is my mod that showed us no, the puppy play Jenna at first. No, no, no. Okay. Chad, stop making fucking me liking doggy girl memes, please. They don't need to. They can just, you know. Can you ask... Okay, okay look. Like, see, oh. I have freaks in my community, okay? Can you ask the fellow brothers how they feel about race play? Asking for a friend. What's ra race play? Is that like when you're like pretending to be a race and sex or like slave type beat shit? Oh my god. Is that what that is? Yes. Nice bathroom is uh is You're the, fucking psychotic. Is the uh brother of um what was what was his name? Uh the dude from Crime Time, WWE. Oh, oh. yeah, that's his brother. That's um, oh okay. And he's a long term community uh member. Oh, that's really that's really cool. Who so, once told me or asked me rather, is if he should break up with his girlfriend because she won't do race play with him. Is, because she won't do race play yeah. with him? Can I ask what ethnicity is his girlfriend? She's white. Okay. What ethnicity could it be? I have no idea. I don't understand these concepts. He's a degenerate. You don't need to answer this question. <laughs> I think so. Uh... He, just, he just wanted to... <laughs> Do you want what? to answer it? What? I was going to say, I think some kinks go a little too far. Oh, you think it's... Okay. Yes, nice bathroom. You're alone on this, I think. Yeah, like I wasn't gonna agree with that shit. What were you expecting me to say? I don't know anymore, bro. After you, show me, after you show me the the three strikes. Oh, great. Not to not to be you know Jim Crow Joe over here, but the three strikes law very much applies to to sus behavior. That's not true. Politically NSFW and okay. all the other shit that you. Which did I said time. I did not find it myself. <laughs> okay. I think that's very important. <laughs> like for example, I mean. Oh, how many strikes is what you showed me with the girl with the prolapse anus? Okay, for? that was a triple strike. That's like six. On its own. What is happening over here? I don't know. Need you? Yeah. I don't know. I have no idea. Oh no, I'm in trouble. No, 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 no. It has nothing to do with you. No, he said something, but like that. He knows that I like. My dad has never like been this active in what's going on here. It's because uh, I'm here. That's uh, yeah, that's why. Because you're here, so you're not entertaining him out there. So he's like, he has to come in here and like peek in. I'm not left you on out there to hang out with him. Yeah. Listen, bro. It was a question, okay? I didn't ask for shaming and doxing all at once. <laughs> <laughs> You deserved it a little bit, okay? Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, really though, what about Halo? Dude, should we should we do Halo? Is it Halo time? Can you finish this video, please? Oh, I forgot oh, to finish it, was... it. Oh, wow. There's still a little bit okay. of okay. left in the day. Design for billionaires to get a view of Central what is this? Park. And... This is oh, the video we were watching originally. My ADHD is right so powerful. Like it or not, <laughs> whether they're occupied or not, whether they're casting a shadow or not, they are now part of the city's story. They are part of the fabric of New York. This is so not my longest pause. To come to oh, the fabric of New York. One thing for sure, I want to be here to cover it because I've fallen in love with this place. As always, guys, if you enjoyed this video and you want to get more from me. Okay, there it is. That's not my longest pause, okay? Let's be real. I've, I've fucking paused uh, for like three, four days in the past. Wait, what the fuck was this? The tree before my spirit falls again. Fill up. Joe Biden had a bunch of nurses come and, and perform at the East Room. I feel like this is the whitest thing I've ever seen in my life. It's just, this is so bad. So bad. This is this is Joe's doing? Yeah, he did this. Trump Malarkey. Did this. <laughs> Trump wouldn't dare. <laughs> this guy saw the hospitals overwhelm and said, you know what we need to make nurses dance for us? <laughs> I just like, I, look, I, I've said this before, like... Nurses are overworked right now because of COVID, all this stuff. They're overworked right now because of all the musical. But, but like, so, like, I don't give a shit if they're being cringe uh, online oh over, uh, I don't care if they're being cringe online and doing TikTok dances and stuff. Everyone that fucking yells about it, they're really annoying. But 
now I feel like, wait, what the fuck? Cody Co? Six Cody Co fans versus one secret Cody Co? Oh shit, Jubilee is like running low on the content train. Who the fuck's Cody Co? Cody Co is a friend of mine. He's a, he's a content creator. He's a dope, really funny dude. Potters. Anyway, so, oh my god, my ADHD. Oh, focus. Okay. He had the, uh, these nurses come over and perform like this. But uh, mm -hmm. after this, I think we should just pay him so much that they never TikTok dance ever again. Like we should make a we should make a deal with the nurses of the United States of America. Like never do a TikTok song and dance, but you get livable wages, like living wages, forever. Show Peggy this. Bing, bing, what? Bing, bang, bing, bing. Oh my bing. God. Bang, bing. 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 Shit goes hard. Bing. Bing. It's Bing. fucking Kanye right away. Yeah. Yeah. Bing. I just realized. Like, oh shit! Bing. I was like, I knew from the first Bing. two. Bing. Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Bing. 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 That was incredible. Yeah. That was that was good. <laughs> that was very good. Okay. This was a, this was an amazing Jubilee video. No cap. Wait, wait, can we watch the dancing of nurses first? Oh, you want to watch it? Okay, I gotta yeah. go pee. I've already seen it. Here, I'll, I'll subject to you. What up, brothers? Let's look at this shit. Why do they do shit like this? That's a good question. I think it's just because they're old and they don't know that. Yeah, he probably thinks this is still what young people do because this is what they did back then. No, I, I mean, I don't think he like thinks this is the equivalent of TikTok. But he I think to. that like they don't know any better. They're like, oh yeah, like this is like a fun thing to do. They can Bro, if they had the if they were in like, the slightest bit, they would know that this would just piss people off or they would just turn it off. It's like, you know. Oh. Did he just post this? Alcoholy, haven't I taught you well to live each living day? Fill up the stocking, but empty main is one. That'd be great if it just took a dark left turn. Just turn that shit off. For <laughs> <laughs> real though. It turns into a whole different, there's a beat switch. <laughs> What the fuck was this for? I don't know. What is Joe Byron doing? Who's, who's getting, who's, whistle is getting wet from this one. To thank them? Oh, this is to thank them? Is that what this is for? What was this for? The sheer five chat. Shut up. <laughs> oh. Oh. Like they're giving the okay. spotlight to nurses, which is like thanking them. I, I guess Why that. people love this? I'm moving dance. my head right now <laughs> involuntarily. What? I love that how that I love how he's a self-aware white man. Yeah, of course. There's plenty of them in here. <laughs> we love this shit. I'm moving and grooving. <laughs> My head's moving and I can't stop us on help, please. <laughs> the whiteness is taking over. Uh, yeah. Um, designed by seven year olds, nine year olds. I mean, this is like every time every time Peggy comes here, I gotta show him like some cringe shit that Joe Biden's doing. So they call you Peggy? Yeah, people call me Peggy. Oh. Um, okay, there's a there's a bunch of stuff, but here we should get into the Halo portion a little bit because that's my cue. I know that's what we were gonna do. See you guys later. Murat literally is leaving. This is the Murat is the everyday watcher. I subbed to Myth yesterday to link him this. Okay, what's going on? Can I just <laughs> Can I just be honest with you? I'm so stoned. <laughs> I just got my summer. <laughs> I 
I just got myself a hot dog in Canada. <laughs> Look at my eyes. I'm wiped this fucking it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? Wow. <laughs> wow. We need a I'm so stoned. You call it involuntary head movement? To white ass song? Okay, I, I can't read that, okay? Uh, honestly, it's kind of stuck in my head. Did you see what Austin got you for Christmas? But can I even show this? <laughs> hey, dude. Oh my god. Why am I there? <laughs> Why am I there? Joe Rogan learned about GTRP? No, we're not doing that right now. Because then I would have to like describe to Peggy what GTRP is. I don't know if you watched. We're not going to do that. React Frogs would literally never stop linking things. Please stop clicking them. Okay, but like, you know, I like doing... Oh, wait, what the fuck? I, I like doing uh, React stuff, and they enjoy it too, So, but we're not going to do it. We'll get back to it later, okay? Here, we'll just do a little bit of Halo. Um, let's delete this. Okay. Tell Peggy about Cussy right now, please. I already did last night. I or uh, last time he was here. Yeah. I explained to him. Well, not Cussy, but like people that are in love with their cars. 